Nissan Orlando. Click OrlandoNissan.com. Home of the lifetime warranty. See dealer for details. With new doors by Renewal by Anderson, you can cut back on energy usage, boost your home's curb appeal, and increase your comfort. Renewal by Anderson makes that transition easy for you thanks to a selection of beautiful, functional replacement doors that are as beautiful as they are convenient. I love pretty French patio doors, but in so many cases, they seem flimsy and over time can warp, not to mention the security concerns that can come with them. Renewal by Anderson is better because every patio door is built with their exclusive Fibrex material, which is two times stronger than vinyl and features a five-point locking system, which improves energy efficiency and better yet, an increased level of security. Renewal by Anderson has a great offer to help you get started during the month of March. Buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC15276. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. They're a carrier factory authorized dealer, and there are rebates that you get up to $1,275 on a brand new carrier unit. If you're going to go with the experts, you got to go with carrier, and you got to go with MillsAir.com. That's where I got my system. I absolutely love it. And you got to make sure you do maintenance on your AC system. They do service on all brands of AC, and it can detect and prevent an upcoming breakdown for you and save you a lot of money. You can count on millsair.com. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we're conquering the unconquerable. Using artificial intelligence and data, our experts can create a personalized gene roadmap just for you. Customizing your cancer treatment, giving your body exactly what it needs to fight the disease. We're making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic. You know where to go. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Stop by the new O'Reilly Auto Parts in Orlando on Curry Ford Road next to Win dixie now through March 26th for the grand opening sale. You'll get two times O rewards points on select purchases, including five quarts of Mobile One full synthetic motor oil for $35.95 and receive a $10 O'Reilly gift card after rebate. Plus, buy one, get one free Coca-Cola products at your new O'Reilly Auto Parts. As America's largest injury law firm, size is our strength. Morgan & Morgan. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman & Lind Studios. Why Kaufman & Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. The news junkie is on. The three best friends you never knew you had. Running through the most viral stories of the day. The news junkie Sean Wasson with Sabrina and c It is Wednesday, March 13th. 2024. Lots to get to today, from three days to just okay eight, to Aaron Rodgers for vice president, then I'd rather die hot than live ugly, plus your calls, dispatches, emails, texts, and more. Hey there, Sabrina. Good day. Hello, c What's happening? 
Why are you laughing? It's <laughs> funny. I'd rather die hot than live ugly. It's funny. I'm just saying, okay? You are joining us on the show today as well. Send us a dispatch. Go to the newsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. You can also watch the show on YouTube and twitch.tv slash the news junkie. Your message is rolling right into the studio in real time. How's everybody doing on a Wednesday? Oh, good. Great, great, great. Ready to party. Ah, uh, nice call today about just okay. Busy, busy, busy day on the schedule. Uh, lots going on. So we'll just I, jump into it. I just can't not be awkward in meetings, I think. Like, uh, what do you mean? Uh, you, you did fine. <laughs> no, no, You're no. Right. Last time I had like the, a wrong setting on the board and nobody told me that I was feeding station audio into the meeting. Oh. And they, and they, <laughs> they were like, I don't know what C-Lane's doing. They didn't say I'm feeding station audio into the meeting. They said, I don't know what C-Lane's doing. I'm just going to mute him. Oh, mine's uh, been so delayed that it's very clear that my words come like five seconds afterwards. <laughs> Poor Jack Bradshaw has been so frustrated with our last couple of meetings, but I mean, I, I'm trying my best, right? Yeah, everybody's trying to get the job done. We're right here at the finish line for Just Okay. It's going to be a, an amazing Saturday. Do not miss out on this. You can go to realradio.fm slash just okay or... You can head over to Mo DeWitt's office today. I think they got 10 pairs. That's it. That's all they're down to. You have so to not have a, a legal lot. issue. Yeah. You <laughs> pretend like you're getting divorced while you're there, right? Go over to Mo's office downtown, and when you pop in, go, look, I'm here to pick up a pair of tickets to Just OK 8, and they'll give you the remainder that they have. They have just a few left. And if you Google or just go to, go to justcallmo.com, go to justcallmo.com, you'll see the address and you could scoot over there today and be one of the last 10 people to grab those. Or if it's easier, which it probably is, go to realradio.fm slash just okay. Don't forget, as time ticks down, those get more expensive the closer we get to the finish line. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you try to just buy them at the door, uh, the cost goes up. Just want to let you know about that. All right, for our opening clip, let's step into the time machine, friends. Here we go. <laughs> My skin. And we go back to that time Jesus Christ broke into a pizza place. Okay, what? Oh, <laughs> uh, if you don't remember this, it's what such a classic. What chapter the Bible? Is that Matthew or Luke? Or? Uh, this is why I wanted to revisit this, because when I saw this clip yesterday, I was like, oh, so many people missed out on this glorious moment. And a man broke into a pizza place and then called 911. And the rest is as follows from CNN way back when. Point number one, what is your emergency? Yes, this is Jesus Christ, and I just <laughs> broke into the Pizza Hut. I broke the window, and I'm here. Jesus is here now. He's back. He's back to earth. <laughs> All right, and uh, so you it's don't the work. Alarm there? in the back for me. Yeah, <laughs> just rip it off in the background. I just want to lighten up. Jesus is back, baby. <laughs> Broken down to the pizza place. So uh, here we go. This guy is off. Off the reservation, man. Fully, fully out there. And he's enjoying his pizza, as Jesus Christ. No, I just broke in. Had a pizza. I'm Jesus. Yep. And what was your name again? <laughs> Jesus. My name is Jesus. What's your last name, Jesus? Christ. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what do you look like? I look like Jesus. <laughs> what else do I supposed to look like? Why, why'd you do that? Because I'm Jesus. I can do whatever I want. Oh my God! The nine one one person. Well, I heard of Judas is on this earth. We're gonna clean this earth up. Oh, okay. So what are you up to? What are, what are you up to? <laughs> I, you know, I robbed a pizza place. Is Jesus Christ? What do you got going on today, buddy? Huh? And then fun on your oh, end. That's uh, so great. There he goes. Just a little Jesus Christ robbing a pizza place. I would love to Why follow not? up. When's that from? Uh, I don't even know. I just I saw that love, yesterday. I watch this guy as the head of like a mega church. Uh, years later. <laughs> like I told it you, it was Jesus, free pizza Fridays, let's go. Uh, that's a good sell point, man. I, I'm down for that. Like, if you tell me, hey, get in here. We do talk about God a little bit, Sean. But also, just so you know, we got pizza. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in. I'm down for that. I could do that, I think. We're looking at 2018-ish for this. 2018? Uh, oh, this there has to be a follow-up call. for him. Yeah. What's he doing, you know? What's, what's he up to these days? You always got to wonder. Um, All right, let's get into a story. An officer in Washington state is in trouble. And it's all for what this cop posted on TikTok. 
And I'll, I'll say this. I think I've said this before on the show, but worth repeating, right? Facebook, on social media, Instagram, Twitter, should be a flat-out rule. Just a flat-out rule. Cops in uniform on duty don't need to be on TikTok, okay? They just don't need to be posting on TikTok. It's way too big of a risk for the law enforcement outlets they're working on or working for. It's just bad. It's just a dumb idea. People were like, man, cops is bad and live PD is terrible. And these are signs of the downfall of humanity. But uh, like uh, cops posting randomly on TikTok, super decent idea. This officer got, um, I don't know if they got fired. I think she got suspended after posting this. But when I see it, I'm like, how would you think this was okay to post? How would you think that this was some sort of good idea? Here is the officer in question. PSA to everyone out there. I'm speaking for myself, but I'm probably speaking for a large majority of other officers out there. Ooh, don't do that. Uh, uh, don't, don't do like, I'm speaking for myself. But also, all cops but I, think this I know way. a lot of people agree with me. Uh, yeah, don't bring all the rest of the cops in who aren't going to agree with your nonsense. We're driving on the freeway in our police car. Get the f*** out of the way. Get the f*** out of the way. Oh. If you merge and we follow behind you and we merge too, you're probably in trouble. Best way to find that out is get the f*** out of the way. Get out of the way. miles an hour. You can't. You can't do that. So get the f*** out of the way. If us officers stay behind you long enough, Oh we can find a reason God. to pull you over. We can find a reason to pull you over, she says. Yeah. Um, Good move, This gal. is incredibly tone deaf as a police yes. officer. This is a really stupid I, idea. I don't think things like this should um, should like uh, cause the, the sheriff's office to go, you know what, all the officers get off of TikTok right now. I think it should just go, hey, this dumb you one. Uh, are very stupid, and that's uh, and, and, and thank God you posted this on TikTok, so we know that that's how you act as, as a police officer. Yeah. Guess and, who's getting desk duty? Yeah, right. Yeah, if, like, I love the idea. She goes, "I can drive ninety. I can drive ninety. You cannot get the F out no, of the way. Huh? You can't no. drive ninety. You, you can can't. only speed if there's a reason for you to do so." Uh, this is like sort of the idea that that causes problems here. I would love Ooh. to find out after the fact also that um, she is a police officer in one of those areas that does not allow high speed chases. <laughs> so I mean, that, that would be the only reason she could drive ninety. Is that, like, there's, there's an idea here at play, which is. I'm a cop. We can do whatever we want, folks. So just get out of our way. Yeah, look at my cute vest with all the uh, guns. Pull over. It will find something to pull you over for. Lady, even if this was true, just keep it inside. What are you doing? You're putting it on display, and this is exhibit Man, A against the, all you cops. A police officer uh, saying we'll find something to pull you over for is like a person taking a field sobriety test saying, I can't even do that when I'm sober. <laughs> Stone Assassin on Twitch says, there's so many officers who want to be influencer famous, and 99% of them are cringe. This definitely comes off that way. It's really, really awkward to I'm me. I'm speaking for myself, but I'm probably speaking for a large majority of other officers out uh -huh. there. Yeah, right. We're driving on the freeway in our police car. Get out the way. Get the f*** out of the way. Get the f*** out of the way. Oh, my God. She must. If you merge yeah, and we follow pain. behind you and we merge, too. She seems annoying. Like, yeah. Imagine just, getting pulled over. How can it's you tell? It's going to be a whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. She's just going to be obnoxious. This seems like her actual personality. Like, this is what we don't want with a badge, folks. You're probably in trouble. Best way to find that out is get the f*** out of the way. I can go 90 miles an hour. You can't. Da, 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 da. You can't do that. So get the f*** out of the way. If us officers stay behind you long enough, we can find a reason to pull you over. So you might as well get the f*** out of the way. Uh, say it one more time, please. Super simple. Super That's simple. Did she, th uh, did she not think that um, everybody was just, I mean, did she think everybody was just going to be okay with the 10 F-bombs that she dropped in that, too? Wearing yeah, her that's uniform? True. Oh, they curse hey. all the time. Come on. Yeah. Um, you, there, Stop there was, thing resisting. When this first came out, there was a lot of people who reacted to this. She got suspended. She only got 10 hours of suspension uh, with pay, which is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> What'd you do? That makes us all look so bad. Now, I want you to go home for one day and then come back and tell me how you feel about things. It's like this is part of the problem, right? And it's not even just like. A lot of a lot of cops who might be listening might go, look, this is not how I operate. This is not how everybody I know that's an but officer. But I do know operates. somebody who does. The problem is when you have somebody out there doing this and it gets this attention, 
it reinforces opinions that a lot of people have where cops think they're above the law. Then of course I'm going to think that after watching that, like this is just an obnoxious human being. And uh, I, I don't know. It came off very, very bad. I thought, uh, what do you think? Let us know, go over to the news and send us a dispatch. Let us know what's on your mind. And you could do that on your phone, on your laptop, anything you're on. We hope to hear from you today at some point during the show. Uh, meanwhile, we're now learning that ABC executives were, quote, terrified, unquote, about John Cena's birthday suit, uh, suit stunt. The whole gag where he got out there nude on the stage. Uh, and there's I love the conspiracies about this. There's so many weirdos out in the world today. They're, they're saying this is a sa- satanic Humiliation ritual that John. Oh gosh! <laughs> the, what? Yeah, no, it's it's what? not. What? <laughs> what? No, it's not. Uh, and why would they freak out? They he had a, a buff lap. Can Did we you have, see like, the pictures that like from behind uh, yeah. or backstage rather? Yeah, yeah, like a little like fine. a little tiny outfit on like a nude colored thing that covered him up. But a satanic humiliation ritual. What do you people think happens at actual like satanic? Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't want to call it. Yeah, well, no, I don't want to call it like church, you know, but like actual satanic uh, organizations, like their mass. What do you do? You think this is what they do? Like one of us has to be naked today. But you have like, to be super ripped and a body stupid. slam. This is not what happens. They said executives at ABC were terrified and sweating John Cena's nude skit during the Academy Awards. Uh, he said uh, on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Getting this on air of all the times I've hosted the Oscars, the Emmys, Emmys or anything, no company bit has ever received more scrutiny than this, Jimmy Kimmel said. There were meetings, site meetings, emails, texts, phone calls, and people sweating. Somebody was crying. Then, once they realized we weren't going to take no for an answer, there were intense discussions about the size of the envelope, whether we needed to Velcro it to John's body, and we had to fill his crack and have socks. Various <laughs> testicula was discussed. There was a lot of rules to get that naked man out on yeah. the stage. Most of those points I got to say, we went through the same thing uh, during, I believe, the third Just Okay, mm-hmm. where yeah. there was uh, sweat and crying and wondering if this was okay, and people were saying no, and then it turned out just fine, didn't it? Yeah. Well, ooh, uh, we wouldn't go back to that thing venue. Yeah. Distracted. <laughs> That was true. I forgot about that. That was all sorts of things. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll jump into things full force here on a Wednesday show, including something that they're setting up for St. Patrick's Day that I just can't wrap my head around. Maybe you can. Aaron Rodgers enters the vice presidential debate talk, and is he going to be on somebody's VP ticket? Oh, God. Did not expect this, but it's coming up next on the News Junkie. Something on your mind? Text us at 77031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. Clausmanlaw.com. Doing a quick checkup on some of the major roadways. You could expect your regular delays before US 27 and approaching Sam Lake Road on I-4 eastbound and westbound. A couple accidents to watch out for. Kirkman Road northbound at Vineland Road on 1792 northbound at Monroe Road. Authorities are clearing up an accident. On State Road 429, traffic is up to speed. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Mattress Firm. Bonus savings on top brands and better sleep are all the buzz at Mattress Firm's Friends and Family Sale. Hurry in to save up to $700 with your extra discount. You'll even get a free adjustable base on select beds. Plus, if you see a lower price, Mattress Firm will match it. Restrictions apply. Today's Central Florida job market is more competitive than ever. But don't be discouraged. Attend the Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, Wednesday, March 13th, from noon to 4 p.m. at the Orlando Science Center and connect with over 70 recruiters right here in Central Florida. Some even offering on-the-spot interviews. Your next career is right in front of you. Join us at the Florida Jobs Now Job Fair on Wednesday, March 13th from noon to 4 p.m. at the Orlando Science Center, 777 East Princeton Street, Orlando, Florida, 32803. That's from noon to 4 p.m. More information at fljobsnow.com. Hey, let's get out of here. 
With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Fence Outlet has the largest selection of fencing options in the state with over 400,000 square feet of showroom and warehouse space. Get 0% financing for 12 months for your gorgeous new fence. Book your appointment online today. Go to fenceoutlet.com. License number C-10252 and C-10803. Yo, it's Angel from the Monsters. You want a big green egg? For the lowest prices anywhere, you got to go to my friends, Wasi's Meat Market. They will deliver and set up your big green egg so that you are cooking before they leave. Follow Wasi's Meat Market on Instagram or go to Wasi's Meat Market com for your big green egg today getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use zip recruiter zip recruiter makes finding quality people a breeze zip recruiters advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills sends you great matches then you can easily invite them to apply four out of five employers who post on zip recruiter get a quality candidate within the first day see for yourself go to ziprecruiter.com slash free to try zip recruiter for free that's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Orlando's top-rated comedy club and restaurant is celebrating, becoming the Funny Bone. Formerly the Improv Comedy Club, the Funny Bone guarantees the same great talent and awesome live comedy experience with a new name at Point Orlando. This week, the Funny Bone welcomes B. Simone on March 15th and 16th. Now, who's single in here? Ooh, we so depressed. We try to act like... Followed by Jay Farrell on March 22nd through the 23rd. Check out our star-studded calendar and showtimes online at orlando.funnybone.com. Home to the best comedic talent on tour nationally. Come get funny at the Funny Bone. Get to Twin Peaks for Wing Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we have six boneless wings, fries, and a soda for just $10. Prefer a signature draft beer? It's only $2 more. That's every Wednesday at Twin Peaks. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. 
Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. If you love sports and scandal, then join me, ESPN broadcaster Jay Harris, each week for Playing Dirty, Sports Scandals, the newest podcast from executive producer Dan Patrick. From current scandals like MMA champ Cain Velasquez armed car chase to historic shockers like the biggest Little League cheat, Playing Dirty, Sports Scandals doesn't shy away from dark details and always packs a punch. Never miss the dirt, people. Listen to Playing Dirty, Sports Scandals on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Score 0% APR financing on popular models like Rogue. Now at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. See you for details. Join in on the chaos. We eagerly await your dispatch. This is... Very serious, and I want to see what you think. Send us a dispatch at thenewsjunkie.com. Is it stupid? Is it honestly a stupid thing to be one of these people? And I'm kind of on the edge about this. I talked about this a little bit. Who says, right now, I'm not going to fly on any Boeing plane. I'm just, I'm worried. I've seen too much to say, like, that I'm totally comfortable flying on one of these planes with the doors popping off with... The story we heard out of New Zealand that we talked about where the lights on like the dash of the the cockpit of the plane went out. The plane nose dove, nose dived, whatever it is, and then uh, pulled back up and the lights went back on. And the Boeing's like, I don't know. We've got some problems that we're dealing with here. Is it weird to hear those things and be like, I refuse to? Because if you're like me, I fly Southwest. That's what I fly. It's all Boeings. The whole fleet. Yeah, but like. You know, this is uh, the hot topic, and obviously there is some red flags here, but who's to say that all the other big planes don't have some issues that people aren't talking about? It just hasn't made the mainstream news. Well, yes, that it's and... It's not want to fly at all. And does sea lane theory apply here? And what's sea my theory? lane theory? <laughs> he needs to know. He needs to know what his own theory is. Refresh. I have a lot of theories, Sean. Sea lane's theory in these circumstances tends to be... That if there's somebody who's having big problems like this, they're actually the best thing to use because they're under so much scrutiny that they're going to go above and beyond. Like yes. Boeing planes, they're looking at the planes double time. Yeah, right now. like the, the, the door plug blows out of this Alaska Airlines Flight 1282. And now guess who's like, you know, uh, fine tooth combing every one of their planes. First of all, Alaska Airlines is probably the safest place mm-hmm. to fly a, blow, bo- uh, a blowing plane. <laughs> a Boeing plane. <laughs> wow, where can you buy a ticket for one of those? <laughs> uh, Emirates. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, you know, it, it was a solid theory until things continued to happen. Yeah, there's been a lot of these stories. And, and, and like, right now, you know, knock on wood, so far, nobody has perished from any mm-hmm. of these issues. But remember back in 2018 and 2019, when the 737 MAX fleet was grounded because two planes crashed and 346 right. people died. I know that number off the top of my head. I'm not reading Wikipedia. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You're a smart man. Well, the Boeing planes are the ones that are getting all the headlines right now. And then there's other things that are at work here. And I want to flesh this out a little bit, especially if you're somebody who knows a lot about planes. Please send a dispatch and tell me if I'm right on this. So the latest news from the Alaska Airlines incident was that plane where the door plug flew out of it back on January 5th. That plane was scheduled to be taken out of service for maintenance on that day. And they go, oh, my God, they knew it had a problem. It was scheduled for service, and they refused to service this thing. And it damn near killed this poor kid that got his shirt sucked off. On this Alaska Airlines flight. Lucky shirt. Blowing. But I think, I think an airline people or airplane people, 
uh, set me straight here. I think that that's a fairly common thing that as there's in, scheduled maintenance as, for planes and they right. put it off. As in once every six months, year maybe, and that was the scheduling. Yeah, and then they go, uh, well, even if they are, 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 even if they've scheduled it because they think there's an issue, the idea that it's delayed, like the scheduled service is delayed, is not uncommon from what I could gather, right? Just reading a couple of stories about this. And the way I thought about this was, well, let's say that there was a vehicle. Let's say, like, just for ease of, of use here and conversation, it's the Tesla Cybertruck. And you go, whoa. Tesla Cybertrucks are spinning out of control and crashing into stuff. I don't know that I'd be like, I'm not getting in a Tesla Cybertruck right now. There's a lot of them, and only a couple of them have had problems. Like I could rationalize it, like post hoc rationalize it so much easier because I don't have a fear of being in, in a vehicle like that. But with the planes, I'm like, all the planes are falling out of the sky. We got a problem. Do not fly Boeing. And as Carol points out on YouTube, then you got this whistleblower who died, and they're like, uh -huh. this, this guy committed suicide, but he was he was with Boeing, and he was one of the people who was like, there's problems at Boeing, and then he, let's say, ends up dead. All of these things become concerning, and then you go, am I just, am I afraid of nothingness here, or is there an actual reason to state right now, I'm not flying on a Boeing flight? Okay. But then you, it comes down to, like, needing to go to a place, wanting to go to a place. And it's like, so you're going to ride the train and no. make that trip 24 mm -hmm. hours? No. No, no there, therein lies the That's problem. That's what my cousin would do. I mean, well, my cousin's afraid of flying, and so she would, and she lived in Oregon. So if she wanted to come to the family reunion, that was a couple days worth of uh, train rides. But even people like Sabrina and myself who don't like flying and have issues with flying and, you know, aren't super thrilled about being in a metal tube at 550 miles an hour and 30,000 feet still fly because of what she's saying. Like it, the other options suck. The other options are like, all right, get on this train. And you go, well, how long is it going to take me to get to New York city? And they go, New York city, uh, three days. And you go, well, what the hell? I could get on a plane and be there in two hours. What am I doing here? Will you not fly on Boeing flights and Boeing planes as a result of this? And if not, you know, why? Give us your take on this, especially if you're somebody who knows a lot about uh, planes. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. There, you could send us a dispatch right now. But the story today is Boeing's, uh, Boeing's problems can't stop, won't stop, as they stack up all of these issues that they're dealing with. I'd be curious to to hear uh, from pilots if if they're doing any extra checking around you know mm -hmm. like uh you know, they, they get on a, a plane they're like mm, maybe i should take a couple walks around this thing just to you know something that i may not have done uh, a handful of months ago and tr trusted my team but now we're, we're kind of uh, everybody's a little bit on edge yeah i i would think that that is probably the case uh, radio michael seven says yeah, there are certain maintenance checks and things are repaired by priority. Mm -hmm. uh, I, just like, I, it, just like if you're a flight attendant, you know there are certain like retraining, recertification things you have to do at a point every year or maybe a cup, maybe a period of years uh, where they they have to go back to their home base and like do the you know save people life training again. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty Which common is exactly thing. what it's called, by the way. Save people, yeah. life, Save people training. life training. Yeah. yeah, that's what everybody calls it. Trademark. All right, let's go over to you. Let's see what you have on your mind and get a couple of dispatches rolling. Here is Man Kicking talking about planes. All right. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just okay, hey, it's this Saturday, and I'm flying down on Friday. Oh, no. Stop talking about the plane. Oh, Come on. Poor guy. I have no issues riding on planes. I really don't. But you guys are just like, uh, you're making me think about it. You're going to be fine. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, pop up. All right, thank, well, first see of all, Saturday. we'll see you this weekend. We look, forward to, we look forward to it. You know, but, uh, if, second, we're, if we're lucky. <laughs> oh, don't we'll do fine. that. Come on. Like, come on. He's going to be okay. But he already paid uh, for the ticket, right? Yeah, he's <laughs> got his money. All right, we're good. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, it's going to be fine. 
People talking about this police officer in the viral very Donald TikTok. Trump of you, Sabrina. Just, uh, Beautiful yeah, pay, babies. You can pay for your ticket. You can pay for your ticket to drop dead, but as long yeah. as you've done the thing, everything's good for America. <laughs> Still worth it. Uh, this police officer is uh, bringing about a bunch of dispatches from you. And in case you missed it, I'll bring you up to speed here. This Washington cop had posted a video that led to a 10-hour suspension without pay or with pay, depending on what story you you believe in after this and a lot of people were reacting to this lady psa to everyone out there i'm speaking for myself but i'm probably speaking for a large majority of other officers out there i speak for driving everyone. on the freeway in our police car get the f- out of the way it's gonna get the f- out of the way get if you merge and we follow behind you and we merge too you're probably in trouble best way to find that out is get the f- out of the way i can go 90 miles an hour no you can't you can't, you can't do that so get the f- out of the way do you think she ever saw- pulled anybody over after this uh, video was, like, originally posted? Do you think she ever pulled anybody over and they were like, sorry, I tried to get the F out of the way? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I think that that's a cop that's giving you some red flags right there. But here's the salt, Peter. I have a response to the cop. Um, if I'm in Dunkin' Donuts and you're in front of me in line <laughs> and you don't want me to make fun of you, <laughs> get out the way. Just get out the way. See, I can order a dozen donuts. You can't without shame. So if you don't want the shame and you don't want the joke sort of stereotype to continue, just get out the way. Get out the way. Oh, I'll find a reason. Now I just have ludicrous stuck in my head. Same here. Yeah, 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 yeah. the first time he said it. Um, Finds out. Millen Server says, I fly on Friday from Pennsylvania. If my plane crashes, I'll accept it. Well, this is not going to happen. That's Everybody's going to be okay. right there. <laughs> uh, Steve-O says on YouTube, she's also tapping her fingernails in an aggressive way, like a nails on a chalkboard type way. Yeah, that She is getting some people's attention, just like this dispatch. Here's Guitar Slinger. Apparently for that police officer, it's not serve and protect. It's Pull over and harass. You need to change the badge on the side of your car. You, yeah, mm, uh, get out the way. Uh, my favorite new meme that I've been seeing all over the place. Did you know there's a there's a town called Sandwich? Oh, okay. uh, and in, sounds delicious. <laughs> in, in this town called Sandwich, they have obviously law enforcement like they do everywhere else. Mm-hmm. And on the side of their vehicles, it says Sandwich Police. <laughs> <laughs> if you look it up, if you, they're if like, you, if there's anything but bread and cheese, it's not a grilled cheese. <laughs> it's a melt. If you Google Sandwich Police, you know, oh, let me see if I can bring this up. Please ignore the sound in the background. Sandwich. It's my favorite thing is like, I think he knows when you're on the air. Oh, man. He's and he like, goes right by the door as if you've had like six months worth of leaves. A lot of up. pollen. A lot of pollen out there, right? That's what he's after. Remember, that, remember that day I, I had to take off because I had to take care of the baby? And uh-huh. uh, I thought about just just driving over with my <laughs> electric blower. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> Here it is in front of me for those of you on YouTube and Twitch. It says sandwich police <laughs> on the side of the car. I'll put this up on CN now, too. And I keep seeing people posting, like, really bad uh, lunches that they're eating with a uh, sandwich that looks horrible. And the comments are just sandwich police, police cars. So I'll put that up over at thenewsjunkie.com in the See It Now section. When we return, we'll hear from you. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. Uh, Radio Michael 7 continues. He says, truth is, planes are still safer than anything else. That's so true, but it's so hard to, like, get into your head and put into, like, your uh, your your thought process. Because all you think is flying is crazy. It's crazy that we have planes, right? It's insane that we, like, all load up and get into this thing, and it takes off, and it flies way up in the air. And we're cruising along and, you know, we've got like people serving us drinks and peanuts and stuff. The whole thing is crazy to think about. You can't get that through your head for some reason. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. Uh, We are also going to talk about something brand new that they're trying to make a St. Patrick's Day thing. When you guys think about St. Patrick's Day, what comes to mind? What are the things associated with like a St. Patrick's Day party? Blackout drunk. Um, Blackout drunk. Check. Lots of green and side yes. of the drinks. 
Check, definitely. We're um, Clover is right. We put that on the list. Before we were uh, of age to drink and we would just uh, wear green on St. Patrick's Day and go to school, you would pinch the people that didn't wear the oh, green. The pinching, yes. Yep, true. Some people still hold that to be something that they need to do as an adult. I don't know why. It also influences me in many ways, like the way I dress for just okay. Because I go, oh, that's right. We're going to have some of those listeners that are like, Sean's not wearing green. Oh, no. Pinchy, pinchy. If anyone pinches me, I will have you removed from the venue. It's a weird move, but people think that. Now, there's one more thing that they're trying to make a St. Patrick's Day thing. I think it's really dumb and just weird and just doesn't fit. But I want to see what you think. That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Hey, Central Florida and Fox 35 Storm Team meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Wednesday. And for the rest of the day, we're expecting a beautiful day. Temperatures warming into the upper 70s and low 80s. The high of 82 degrees for Orlando. An isolated sprinkle or two can't be rolled out, but overall, many of us staying mostly dry under a partly to mostly sunny sky. Temperatures warm into the mid 80s for Thursday, Friday, and into Saturday with a high of 90 degrees expected for Sunday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Direct Auto. Direct Auto Insurance is for uncompromisers. With savings of up to 25%, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Savings based on discounts can vary. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we're conquering the unconquerable. Using artificial intelligence and data, our experts can create a personalized gene roadmap just for you customizing your cancer treatment, giving your body exactly what it needs to fight the disease. We're making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. Life is too short to let allergy and sinus issues hold you back. At Aspire Allergy and Sinus, we understand the impact these challenges can have on your life. Imagine a life free from constant sneezing, itchy eyes, and sinus headaches. Our expert team provides comprehensive allergy testing and personalized treatment plans, ensuring your specific needs are addressed. Simple relief, better life. At Aspire Allergy and Sinus, visit AspireAllergy.com to schedule an appointment. AspireAllergy.com and tackle your allergies head on. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Turn up the cleanliness at your 
restaurant, healthcare, or industrial business with Alsco Uniforms, the official sponsor of the Orlando Magic Mop Crew. We've got you covered with crisp uniforms, hygienically clean linens, floor mats, and of course, mops delivered weekly. But that's not all. Alsco Uniforms also offers weekly services for first aid and restroom supplies. Discover why it pays to keep clean with Alsco Uniforms. Visit Alsco.com to learn more. Again, that's A L S C O.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations, like 24 7 Comedy. They were really donut holes. The bag would be empty. When you need to laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. Should we call someone? I'm like, no, that's his face. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Hey, it's Jesse Kelly. Are you still on the fence about owning gold? It's time to pull the trigger with the Oxford Gold Group and buy gold and silver. Nobody can predict the future, but we can't put our head in the sand either. The Oxford Gold Group are the pros. They make owning gold and silver simple and easy to understand. Call Oxford Gold Group right now and you may qualify for up to $10,000 in free precious metals. Call 833-995-GOLD. That's 833-995-GOLD. $5 $5 finger licking deals are back at your local KFC. Choose from three delicious options. A two-piece meal with a drum, thigh and buttery biscuit side, an eight-piece chicken nuggets, or two chicken little sandwiches. Only available at select participating locations, not online. Tax extra, it's finger licking good. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. They're best friends, unless they're fighting. Are they fighting? It's the... Such a kick out of it, but I do indeed. And that's watching the old O's up on Capitol Hill and watching them try to get rid of TikTok is a fun thing for me to witness. And watching them just talk about it in general, you know, the Tic Tac references and everybody talking about things where they don't know what they're discussing. Those moments where you see your elected officials and you're like, ah, that's who's in charge. The people who think the internet is a series of tubes. And they don't understand how technology actually works. Uh, They're trying to ban TikTok. They've done so in the House of Representatives. Has to be confirmed by the Senate passing it as well. And if they do, it will force TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, to divest the property. That's a name. I didn't know that. B-Y-T-E Dance. Hmm. And it will uh, force them to get rid of TikTok in the United States as a property that they own. Uh, therefore selling it to some sort of American entity, which is super weird, and they don't apply this to other companies. Yeah, well, well, they're trying, actually, um, Mm -hmm. because there's another bill that uh, I've been seeing, like, people be like, hey, write your uh, representative, email your senator this and that, because they're they're going after DJI, too, who's also a a Chinese company. Oh, the drones? Yep. Yeah, the drones, and... And then, like, when they do that, didn't they do that somewhere? And then they realized, damn, uh, we banned DGI, uh, DJI drones, and they're, like, the only ones we can all, get. <laughs> all, the, all the law enforcement agencies that, um, that uh, I mean, they did it in Florida. Mm-hmm. You know, I think Ron DeSantis came by and was like, you know, uh, China's a boogeyman. We, gotta, we can't use the drones. And so they had to get rid of all of them. And all the officers that were using drones are, like, pissed because the other options suck. They're yeah, terrible. And- and this is not how China spies on you, just for those of you who are confused by this and you know think China bad, which I get it. I understand being wary of China. It's still a communist country. It's still as adversary of the United States of America. I get you. We got to keep an eye on those Chinese folks, right? But if you think that they're spying on you through your TikTok, you don't understand what the actual problem is. The actual problem is simply the algorithm that uh, decides to feed people things that they really want to see and release that dopamine, release that dopamine. Next thing you know, you have a view of the world that's incredibly jaded 
and is very, very misleading. Or you uh, just see birds that do funny things, okay? Uh, sometimes. But it, like the, uh, it's impossible on some platforms to stay away from it. Like, the Twitter for you is really bad. John so, Persons. Just give you an, to give you an example here. If you are on TikTok and you see a video of somebody stealing a person's dog, right? Like they break into the person's house and they steal the person's dog and the family's crying and the dog has been stolen. You're like, damn, that sucks. That's sad. If you see that all day, every day, and that's completely in your feed, even if it was every instance of this actually happening in our entire world and not something that was common or was ever going to happen to you, you would think, oh, my God, this is a huge danger to me. I'm worried right now that somebody's going to break into my house and steal my dog. That's how the algorithms work. They do this. They can turn people in all sorts of different directions. It's not about, like, TikTok listening in on every Joe Smith in the United States of America, that's just frankly impossible for them to do. And they can get all the same information without doing that, right? But the folks on Capitol Hill are like, TikTok bad, we got to get rid of this thing. TikToks. Here's Nancy Pelosi. This is not an attempt to ban TikTok. It's an attempt to make TikTok better. Tic-tac-toe, a oh. winner. Oh. Oh. See what you did there, everybody? Tic tac toe, tic tac toe. That was like a, a bing bang boom, uh, ding dang dong. Bing, what bang, was the, bing bang boom boom. Bingo bango bongo. What what are those things? And she then she does like a slice through this the air. It's not an attempt to ban TikTok. It's an attempt to make TikTok better. Tic tac toe. toe. A winner. A winner. A winner. Boom. Mic drop. Just could, like that. You could see the very hint of a face of a person who is proud of what she just said after she did that. <laughs> look, watch it again and tell me she didn't She didn't look at herself and go, yeah, nailed it. You think maybe she thought of that in real time as she was saying, she's like, tick-tock, tick-tock, oh. 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 I'm going to sound if that good. Was a, if that was a pivot because she accidentally said tic tac instead of tick tock and then went to toe, I mean, then she's she's uh, firing on more cylinders than we give her credit for. All right, I'm going to pay attention to her face here. Let's see what Pelosi looked like when she hit the line. The tic tac toe line that she seemed to be very happy with. This is not an attempt to ban tic tac. Oh, like, it's an attempt real quick? to make tic tac better. Uh, the woman in the back could not give <laughs> less Fs about this. I this just want to point like, that out. If you, if this it's a beautiful lady... coat, but she does not want to be there. <laughs> it's a, what's the collar on that coat, though? Not for nothing. Enough I mean... room for her like <laughs> tiny little head that's attached to her body it, to pop she could, out. She, she could swing like this inside that top and it, like not hit anything. It looks like her entire head could just like go inside that thing turtle. like a turtle. It was, like, what was it, Dana Carvey? For I'm not, the, I'm not <laughs> turtly enough for the turtle club. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I'll put this up on CNN now since it's so visual. But you got to see this lady's shirt behind Nancy Pelosi. It's something else. I now want to see her face Better. here. Tic Tac Toe, a winner. Yeah, a winner. A winner. Boom, a winner. got him. We're shutting it down. Oh boy. Uh, you know what they what they should do? What would be interesting? I think, and they won't do this. But they should make uh, every social media platform make their algorithms public because that's that's the real problem, right? That's that's the real issue that you face. I, I've I've been caught up in it myself. I've been scrolling through, and I'll go back to Twitter because I think their for you is just that bad. And you start scrolling through Twitter, and you're like, man, there are a lot of videos of black people attacking white people. And you go, jeez, why? That's your algorithm? Yeah, uh, that's that's the for you algorithm, my friend. That's the for, for you. Because wait, go back on Twitter, start scrolling for a while. Now that you're saying and, it out loud, we're going to get and that. Re report back to me because you'll start to see that. Or you'll just see like fight videos or like X type of video. And then all of a sudden at the end of it, you're like, damn, what's going on in the world? And it takes, that's why touch grass is such an important little phrase. I'm so allergic because, though. It takes you going out into the world and you're like, people are normal out here. What's happening? What, the online people are weird. People are very weird. And things that are like scandalous online, no one cares about in the real world. It's such a different place. It's a beautiful difference that we all should notice. And uh, that's what I think the problem truly is. Uh, Dylan on YouTube said, Sean calling China a communist country, maybe LOL. Communist in name only. Oh, some of you are so thick, man. <laughs> the, the Communist Party of China 
runs the country and has for a very long time. China is a communist country that's factual. Their economy is communist with some free market principles attached. But as far as things go, the company is the best current example of a working communist government. Tick, you got to learn. Toe. Read a book, man. Just one. Just read the one book. While you're touching it. Outside in the real world, read a book, please. Uh, okay, we'll get to more of your dispatches because those are rolling in right now, and we appreciate you sending those, obviously. I'll go over to thenewsjunkie.com to record yours. But I tease this, so let me get to it. And I asked Sabrina and I asked Celine, I said, what do you think about when you think about St. Patrick's Day? And they rightly said, drinking, obvious. That, that's, that's a very obvious thing, yes. right? You think about leprechauns, sure. I guess. You luck, think about luck. Pot of gold. Think about partying a little bit. You think about good times. So many things that you would think about when you think about St. Patrick's Day. This is not one. And it's what it is is I believe this is the company behind New Year's Eve and Times Square that's trying to spread their wings a little bit. Because they're doing a ball drop for St. Patrick's Why? Day. Now. At what time? I don't. I really don't understand that. That's a little weird, isn't it? It's like the, the fame symbol of the new year will transform into a rock drop to celebrate the night before St. Patrick's Day. They said whiskey maker Jameson has teamed up with Weekend Updates uh, comedians Colin Jost and Michael Che for the event. They're going to host things. And there'll be a rock that drops at 8 p.m., which is midnight in Ireland. And everybody's going to stand around and be like, oh, you know, five, four, three, two, one. Say that's a day today. before. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. It, when, when it hits midnight. So, like, it'll be technically in Ireland, St. Patrick's Day. Uh-huh. Ah, we're going to have to count it down at just okay, then. Yeah. Uh, you know, let's you do know it. what? We're, We'll be very close. Yeah, it's true. This just but sounds we'll, like maybe they um, someone messed up and they were just supposed to rent that ball for New Year's. And they're like, mm -hmm. damn it. We did a six-month rental. So we're going to have <laughs> to use this for every holiday coming up until, you know, we get the uh, numbers squared away. Uh, they go, well, we can't do it with just a ball drop. Yeah, Make it right? a rock. Make it a rock. Why a rock? I, I don't know. It's just a uh, shamrock. Yeah, it's oh. not even shaped as a shamrock. It just is a rock drop. Maybe it will be a shamrock on the side of it, just to make it a little more legit. The whole thing seems kind of weird to me. What do you think? Go to thenewsjunkie.com and send us a dispatch now. Here's Bruise Traveler talking about that TikTok algorithm. Hey, Sean, you're absolutely right about the uh, TikTok algorithm and how it's really forcing you to see things uh, a certain way. You see, in uh, my feed, I have uh, you know a lot of uh, beer stuff because of my job, and mm -hmm. then a lot of uh, large-breasted women dancing. And now I'm worried that seen those. these uh, large-breasted women are going to have lower back problems and should probably have a beer. All Thank right. you. Cheers. <laughs> Appreciate that. All right. Okay. Uh, you can send your dispatch, too. Just go to thenewsjunkie.com and toss one over. Just like uh, Shelby, who says she has a Fritz song. Okay, oh. well, if this is good, we'll play it for Fritz, but... We'll see what we got. Now it's time to pick me for Fritz. Oh, uh, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Cool. You know, everybody tosses out their attempts. I don't know if that's going to work for you, but uh, thank you for sending that over at the very least. We got a lot of people who are up as contenders for the vice president. Let's toss some names out there that we've heard. Uh, Ron DeSantis, which ain't never going to happen. Uh, Trump will not pick him. Uh, the, uh, what's his name? Ravi, uh, Ramas Vivek, Vivek Ramaswamy. That's yeah. his name. Uh, Vivek Ramaswamy has been mentioned. Uh, there's been people who have said that Joe Biden's going to change his ticket. It's a pipe dream. Ain't going to happen. Um, a bunch of other names have been suggested for Trump. But, Don't do uh, it, Joe. <clears throat> most of them are just people who ran against him in the primaries, which has been kind of hilarious in the past couple of days to see. They're like, Joe Biden has clenched the Democratic nomination for the presidency. And I'm like, wow, what a grand surprise. All you people who thought RFK was going to nail this thing. I want you to think about things as you come back into reality. Oh, they here. spent think so about... much on that Super Bowl commercial. Oh, that's right. I forgot they bought a Super Bowl commercial. And they're talking about who could be involved in this. And, and now RFK is saying he's considering a couple of people for his vice presidential slot. 
One of them is former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura, oh. the, the wrestler, that guy. He's a possibility for RFK. And the other one is uh, former New York Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers. He would possibly be somebody who was considered for this. And uh, This is what drives me to drink. This is gonna, it, it truly this, is going to be such an S show. I can November. imagine somebody who's like, look, I was going to vote for Biden or I was going to vote for Trump. But if RFK is going to have Aaron Rodgers on the ticket, well, sign me up. Packers, I baby. Love my mind. I'm going to change my mind on this because the ayahuasca guy is on the ticket. This is sideshow stuff, which is fine. It could be fun and all that. But it's just not going to have an impact. There are two people who are going to be running and battling against each other. And the presidency, most people don't seem to like either one of them all that much. But it doesn't really matter because that's what we got. Aaron Rodgers, though, what do you think? Would he be a good vice president? I don't know why anybody would think that, but maybe you do. And if you do, send us a dispatch. Go over on your phone or your laptop or anywhere else, anything else that has a microphone. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. Good stretch. When? We return. Got to get to that zero on get the countdown your laptop, clock. perhaps uh, your cell phone, whether it's a smartphone or I almost said uh, uh, a tablet. You know, oh, that, I no. started to think about that other gives devices. You half a second for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I could get there for weekend edition. When we return, there's a problem at Google. We need to discuss this. That is coming up next on the news junkie. Orlando City heads to the ATL to face Atlanta United FC for a Sunday showdown. Coverage begins this Sunday at 6.30 p.m. on Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's a couple accidents to watch out for on Porter Road at Summer Lake Park Boulevard. Authorities are clearing up an accident there. Bonnet Creek Parkway at Vista Boulevard. And traveling on I-4, you could expect your regular delays before U.S. 27 and approaching Sand Lake Road around the perimeter. No major problems on State Road 429 or the Greenway. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. We'll always be here for you. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. McDonald's McCafe Ice Coffee wakes you up like the perfect song. The 100% Arabica beans get your head nodding. Yeah, then the cream drops like a smooth bass line. Uh-huh. Add some ice to chill it down and some French vanilla flavor. There you go. Or change it up and go with caramel. Either way, it's a stone cold classic. Start your day with a $1.49 McCafe iced coffee available during breakfast hours only. Music to my ears. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. My day just flows better when I make my first stop McDonald's. I can choose two faves and save big with a bundle of savory sausage McMuffin or flaky sausage biscuit with crispy hash browns for breakfast for $2.79. Or I can make Mickey D's my last stop. Lunch, dinner, a late night snack perhaps. When I bundle a crispy McChicken or juicy McDouble with delicious small fries for only three sixty nine. dollars Now my day is made the tastiest way when I bundle and save at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid with product served. The following is a promotion of Guarantee Media and not iHeart Media or this station. Attention! Our friends from Guarantee Media are giving away a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included for only $99 to the first 50 listeners to tell me the name of a country without the letter A in its name. You know it? A country that doesn't have the letter A on its name and you'll go on a cruise to the Caribbean. Text your answer to 96551 and you'll get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included. You heard right. Be one of the first 50 to text the name of a country without the letter A in its name and you'll go on a five-day cruise. Text your answer to 96551. That's 96551. Be one of the first 50 listeners to tell me a country without the letter A in its name and get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals included for only $99. Text your answer to 96551. Text a country without the letter a in its name to 96551 this is not a contest it is a paid advertising by guarantee media with the purpose of soliciting sales on vacation ownership and is not affiliated with iheart media some terms and conditions apply 
my wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It, it was from the first use. I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navage helps me clear the way, literally clear the way, for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navage difference yourself. Navage is available at navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. Free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Sunnyside Air Conditioning. Uh, yes, I need a new air conditioner. Do you... For a list of things we do, press 1. I just want to know if you install new air con... For a list of things we don't do, press 5. Why would I want a list of things you don't... To save us time explaining it to you. Well, I'd hate to waste your time. So if you'll just press 5, I'll give you a list of what we don't do. Right. Which is a lot. You know, this would never happen with Frank Gay. If you'd called Frank Gay, you'd probably be talking to a person by now. That would be nice. But we're more efficient. Amazing the time we save ourselves by making customers press buttons and talk to robots all day. I'm calling Frank Gay. When you need a new air conditioner, you need it done right. A helpful operator to make it easy. And your new AC installed fast. That's the Frank Gay way. Are you sure you don't want to hear the list of things we don't do? Our list is much longer than Frank Gay's list. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, your favorite drafts are poured at a frosty 29 degrees, and rare barrel-aged whiskeys are served just the way you want them. It's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Stick around after the sun sets. Twin Peaks is open really late. Wind down with bourbon and late night fights. Save time and money with the aluminum fence in a box from Fence Outlet. It comes with everything you need for an average backyard of 120 feet starting at 2365. Go to fenceoutlet.com today for more information and store locations. License numbers C10252 and C10803. GMC Sierra trucks in stock now at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Portions of the following program were pre recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. <laughs> Documenting and contributing to the decline in American culture. This Let's see Lane laugh at me again, but I'll do so in just a moment. Don't forget, when we're live, you can always watch the show. Tune into the studio in full HD, an entire production ready for you. Go to thenewsjunkie.com slash live to watch us here in the studio on YouTube or twitch.tv slash thenewsjunkie. I'd rather die hot than live ugly. Is <laughs> oh, why? It feels so targeted at me. Like, like, I shouldn't be saying that sentence. That's what it feels like to me. When I, hear I just this. thought it was funny as a sentence. I wasn't meaning that. It sounds like an emo song, like Fall Out Boy <laughs> album. Uh, I'd rather die hot than live ugly. 
They said in the Washington Post today, tanning mania is back. And I guess there was like a fall off from all these people who would go to tanning places. Like you, know, you go to the tanning salon and you get your like little subscription or whatever, show up there, lay in the tanning bed, all very foreign to me. I've spent all these days here on earth and never once been to a tanning salon or been in a tanning bed. Uh, Celine, are you with me on that or am I alone here? I mean, I've never been tanned, but I've been to a salon. Okay, but oh, you've what? never been like in a tanning bed. Have no. you been in a tanning bed, oh, Sabrina? Yeah. Oh, that was a big thing in high school for me mm-hmm. and my friends. We yeah. we would go. It was either the standing one or the lay down, and then they'd give you the option of stickers. Yeah, that you could like put on. It was typically like a Playboy. Just, uh-huh. Yeah, Playboy or Heart or Star, and then um, how tan you wanted to be was you know what kind of like little plastic solution full of chemicals you'd put on your body, and then some yeah. of them would have a tingle to it. It was a uh, it was a whole thing. We had a, it was even like um, I'm pretty sure membership style. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. they try to get everything out of you. They can't. It's a business. They're doing their thing. That's all right. But one thing that always kind of got me, and I was like, man, I wonder why more people aren't scared of that. Did you guys ever see? I know what you did last summer. Or oh god, it's been a really long time. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, she's locked in there. Yeah, uh, there's a scene in there where I think it's Jennifer Love Hewitt. We had a different name for her at the time. But Jennifer Love Hewitt. What was, oh, the, name? What was the name? It's, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. No, I uh, come on. have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> so say it. At the time, they called her Jennifer Love Huge. Oh. Uh, uh, instead of Jennifer Love. Was Hewitt. she known for being um, well endowed? I don't know. It's just it's just a thing. It's she just a, a Sydney Sweeney of sorts. I guess so. It's like I woke up today and I saw. I look over and I go, "Why is that trending?" And it was uh, somebody had posted a photo of a group of friends and they're all chasing each other around and they're going to tackle one kid and they go, what do they call this in your neighborhood? And regionally people called it all sorts of things, but the most popular thing that was trending was smear the queer and smear the queer is trending all over the place. And you're like, Jesus. Well, <laughs> that was a thing. Remember smear that? Them with what? Uh, just tackle them. Just tackle with them. With more then- queer. I guess it was like so horrific that people would just say that and and it was nonchalant as could be, but that's the way it was queers. And and now kids are uh, and adults even are headed to the tanning salon with the idea that they'd rather die hot than live ugly, which that's fine. I think that's okay. And they said, it's a symbol of health and it wreaks havoc on your body. It yields a youthful glow and wrinkles. It's a marker of status and the subject of mockery it covers flaws and it exacerbates them, and the desire for it generates billions of dollars. But tanning is back in a big way, says the Washington Post. Uh, again, never done it, never been to a tanning salon. Don't think I'll change my mind on that anytime soon. But uh, Are you sure about that? Uh, sure I've want never, to? I've never been tan. Tan. Okay. <laughs> I've okay. never been what one would call. Like I've never had somebody go, man, you got a great tan. That's never been uttered by an individual I, to me. You just burn? I mean, obviously you've gotten sun oh, in your life. You're a Florida yeah. guy, but uh, that it's never turned into a tan at all. No, not that I can recall. No, because as you said, like, if I'm out there, if the three of us are at the beach or something, within an hour, you're going to look at me if I don't have any kind of suntan lotion on. You guys are going to go, Sean, whoa, we need to get something on you here. You start to look like a tomato. The sun's going to blow you up here. We don't want this to happen to you. Mm. Every time I get in that territory. What yeah, say, I mean, I, I, I've been darker than this, but I don't know that anybody ever went, hey, man, you got a great tan going on. Oh, uh, see, I have to say the opposite, guys. I've had really great tans in the past. Uh-huh. Almost to the point where I look like I'm from a different place. <laughs> People start to think that your ancestry is. is I mean, it's it definitely now. there. I've, you know, some. I think it's obviously my Cuban heritage, but okay. there's. So I, you're saying I'm you're a, saying you're saying you have you have the ability. Yeah. And mind to you, it is also worth mentioning for those watching on the stream. Like I am not this pale. It is. I have four screens in front of me. The mm. color is off. I don't have a fancy camera like Sean does. You guys know that I'm not this ghostly, right? I don't know. No. 
oh, I'll shut down the screens and then I don't have a way to run the show. No. How about that? No. How about this? I, I wasn't saying that. Well, I just flap over the little privacy screen, okay? So <laughs> now, now you just now it's just dark. Now yeah, that's the middle finger. Show yeah, the now. people. Yeah, there you go. Flapped. You know what? I think it would be hilarious for some reason if C-Lane was mega tan. Like, yeah. I think he'd be accused of something. <laughs> you think I should go to the booth before Just Okay and just like, show up with a nice... I dare you. <laughs> just stay in there for like uh, whatever whatever the time limit is, go five times past that. And if C-Lane looked like Ricky Martin or something... Ah, like Ricky some... Martin? <laughs> I don't know who's a good representation of like like a real toasty tan skin. If c had that color to him, I don't know a leather why. mom. Yeah, tan mom. If you were tan mom territory. That, Angie that from that be. one show, like, I've got my chapstick. Oh, I, 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 I would. a guy with murder charges. I would like that Big for some Ange, reason. That's what uh, I would be into it. Uh, what into do you think? What? Let us know. Go to the news junkie. Oh, not into it like that. I, mean, it I sound, would be just in... sounded like that a little bit. If, it, look, if somebody said, Sean, c is in the next room, and he's going to come out one of two ways. He's either going to come out with the eyebrow piercing that you've always dreamed that Do he would the have. the tan. <laughs> so close to that. Or he's going to come out and he's going to be like illegal tint levels of tanned. And I would absolutely want to see the tan. Like what if I got more. like a spray tan? Yes. Yes. Like, and just kind of an unnatural color, like cheap leather seats color. Yeah. Like, I, I would go I full would, Trump. Would love that. Would love to see that. Uh, we'll get to your dispatches here in just a moment. And this is something that people run into all the time. It's a common problem that they have. But you wouldn't think it would happen at Google, of all places. And in their Mountain View, California headquarters, there are a lot of people who are super upset. Why? Because this big-ass building that they built called BV100 has the worst Wi-Fi on planet Earth, employees are saying. And they're going, we're Google, for God's sake. We have an internet service. We do Google Fiber. What's going on? And it's not working for them. They said the innovations uh, ruined the Wi-Fi in the area. They've been plagued for months by an operable or a best spotty Wi-Fi, according to not one, not two, not three, but six people familiar with the matter talking to Reuters because this was an important news story for them to get out. The company promoted the new building and surrounding campus in a 229-page glossy book highlighting their features like googly interiors and an environment where everybody has the tools they need to be successful, save for, of course, the Wi-Fi. All right, let's see what you got on your mind. We're going to get to your dispatches just like this one. Here is Insecure Walrus with the dispatch for us. I can definitely confirm that the tanning industry as a whole nosedived over the last decade or more. When I first started working at the big hotel I worked at for a long, long time, one of our biggest shows ever was the Indoor Tanning Association, Mm -hmm. and it was huge. We literally did a show where people were pelled down from the big, like, 100-foot-tall fountain atrium thing, and while Shadaisy was playing, they used to be a country act. Um, they used to have like doctors Shadazy. and lab coats Shadazy. talking about how good tanning was for you. Time in the out. course of like Time five out. Flag years. Flag on the field. He's throwing about Shadaisy. You guys do not know who Shadaisy you... is, do you? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Okay, but there's no way Shadaisy has a song where they sing the word Shadaisy. That's just not possible. That that's... No, but that's what fans of Shadaisy would do when they're all together. Shadaisy. No, I refuse to believe that that's a thing. What is Shadaisy saying? Is this like a band that was a one-hit wonder or something? Well, the only song they have in our system is Deck the Halls for Christmas Country, Country Christmas uh, time. Damn, they sing, they I'd rather maybe. die hot than pale. You know what? That could be a good song. That actually could be a song that would work. Um, let's put that on our list, Celine. For just oh, you guys are going to make a brand oh. new song in three days? Stretch it out a little bit. Okay. We, we've, we're down for 15 minutes. I think 45 is more uh. reasonable. <laughs> And that is a sound of Radio Michael Seven's head exploding. Hey, look, if we can't try to run the a show here, no, yes, you can. No, you're going to hear that sound when we actually take the stage. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good sound. Good sound. Uh, Today is a. I'll tell you, I was so bowled over last night when. Uh, so, Sea Lane had uh, some Jackson issues. There was a, a, a Jackson blowout. What did they call it in that one commercial? Jackson um, <laughs> headed to fix the Jackson accident. <laughs> there was a Jackson. 
And uh, Sealand's like, uh, work on these songs. We'll, we'll have to practice for just okay. We'll, we'll practice tomorrow. The way I, I said, explained it to uh, to Russ and the guys was um, the tone in, in my wife's voice was such that if I were to leave the house to go practice guitar with Sean, I would get strangled. <laughs> you know what you needed it, it, to it do. It had been a long day with a cranky baby. Yeah. And I, I also, just for the record, he had created two songs with AI that had him singing and me singing and all the things I needed to learn and then given me two printouts where I could play along with him and learn these new songs. That was very nice of him. That's why and he so wasn't talking during the show much at the end. I put my phone down in front of me and I'm playing this back and I'm playing along with AI, me, and c Lane, And I'm singing the song and I'm learning it and I'm like, this is awesome. What a world this is that you can do this right now. I'm sure it's going to put many people out of work, but the idea that (laughs) my job for just okay is going to be so easy that I just listen to AI Sean playing and singing songs and just copy that guy. And then one time I got to a line in the song that AI Sean had to sing. And I was like, Oh, let's see if we got this. And then I sang it. I was like, I got it. (laughs) (laughs) Take that AI Sean. You're not better than me. Uh, But yeah, I worked on that a little bit yesterday. Uh, I'm trying not to to suck it up on the stage as we perform for just okay. It's going to be a good time. Hey, We have lots of lights and stuff that will Mm -hmm. distract the people. Don't worry. I'm going to need, man, there's a couple of songs where I just like, I try to play them and I could play them, but then, when I sing and play, I forget how to strum completely, and mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. want to don't want to make C Lane look like a dodo up there. Mm. But I also don't want to machine gun Kelly it, where I like turn my guitar <laughs> down too much. I, like I want to be playing up there for the people. But I, it's, there's more time. There's more days to get all ready for this. There's no we're... days left. You guys should yeah. be ready. No, we're, we're we're doing well. We only have 15 minutes to fill, and we've already got like most of our songs. Ready to go. We just got to play them together, which we're going to do today. I, I played a little snippet of one of them for Jack, and he goes, Hey, what the heck? He goes, What are you guys, are you guys lip syncing? I go, No. <laughs> he goes, well, what, well, what's this? And I go, It's for Sean to practice. And he goes, Man, the length that you go through for stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he needs to, this, this is the easiest way I could. Yeah, have otherwise them do we it. would have to practice like 40 times together and figure out the songs. And you know, <laughs> you know what the best part is? What? As I was practicing yesterday, uh, uh, I don't want to ruin anything, so I'll, I'll just kind of be generic about it. But one of the songs is not only a song, but there's some banter between c and I. Yeah. And oh, I, my God. I, I redid the banter in the same way that the AI version of me redid it. I was like, okay, can I just, I promise I won't say anything, but I have to listen to the banter. So he did <laughs> AI banter for you? Yeah. 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 Like, back, like us talking back and forth, making a, a couple little jokes in the middle of the song. Oh. And I was like, oh, I like the way that that played out with the lyrics before it. We got to so, put that in that scannable thing that's going to be uh, uh, <laughs> alongside. This you don't need to know anything about this. This is just a Sea Lane and I thing. You don't oh, need you to showed know Jack. Sea Lane did. Because mm-hmm. Jack is it, it doesn't matter if he knows or not. You know? Like if if you know, then it might ruin it for you. Unless what you're not gonna watch. Be I don't know. Of you, course you, I'm gonna watch, but you know, at some point I will have to go backstage and get ready and do the prayer with Sabby's little helpers as we do. How every long year. are you guys praying for? We're we're like the first <laughs> band. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, we are. Okay, uh, this is commercial talk now. It has turned into that. You're absolutely no. Not. Uh, go go ahead. We, we, we uh, where are we at? Michael, on the, on this? our stage manager has already yeah. reached out to you and has placed you not first, my friend. You guys are going to be before Sabby's little helpers. That was the um, decision that uh, was, was under you the impression told that him we were that. further on in the show. It is further on in the show. <sighs> I think I probably did say that at one point, but that was when my confidence was higher than it is we're now. Not changing Your confidence anything. is lower now? It literally is so perfectly timed out that you have no choice. You're going to be at See, the like, time that was given by Michael. My Michael, confidence are you in, listening? Please group text. My confidence in you is high. My confidence in me, it always is low because I'm incredibly hard on myself. Like with it. this show, I, I this show every day after the show, Courtney will be like, uh, "How was the show today?" And I'll go, you know, four out of ten, D minus, <laughs> five out of ten every day because in my head, I'm incredibly, incredibly tough on myself. But I'm like, man, Celine did a great job with these songs. These are going to be fun. This is going to be good. I, I, but the the pressure is on. I think we don't want to look like fools. Or I don't want to look like a fool. In front of anybody out there. That would be a bad, bad thing. Uh, Let's work in one more dispatch here and see what we got. 
Here is, uh, is this Guitar Slinger? Let's see. Sean, I believe the tan you're thinking of for Sea Lane would be George Hamilton, the actor. That's that, the tan you want to see on Like a Lane. rich mahogany of a tan? Because that's what I'm in the, the market for. I'm really looking for that toasty. If you have one through ten in the, the bread toasted for which one you like, ten being like like a blackened, burned piece of toast. I can't do ten, guys. <laughs> I'm looking for a <laughs> I can't ten's, do ten. Ten's a little problematic. For sure like, will be our last just okay. Seven. All right, a seven. A seven would be great, I think. Uh, and MFQ says, it's because you guys spent more time on the name of the group than practicing. That's not that true. That is a great point. No, that's not true. Uh, we spent we outsourced time. that. Yeah, we, we, we left that to you guys. And, and it was you came up with god-awful examples of what we should use as a band name. So, I, you know, I don't want to blame you, but I'm blaming you, basically. Sorry, but it's just the truth in this very moment of ours. Oh, this is okay. what you're going to do. If it goes poorly, you're going to blame everybody else? No, no, no. I would have blamed the audience it's if the name of me. the band said. <laughs> no, I'm not going to blame you because it's not going to go poorly. We're going to nail it. It's We're going to be a great performance. It's going to be a performance. It's going to be a great performance. I want to know that, that AI so bad. Can you just send me the banter part? Uh, I, I no. need a little no. spirit lift. I can, I can, no. I, I, it's what's gonna it ruin can? things if you hear the banter w part. What's the ruining mm -hmm. of it? Everyone I else, I'm not gonna tell, tell anyone else about it. I am part of the production team. Send me it now. Oh uh, boy, she's she's moving from the production team to talent. Oh, she's, I'm back of the house catering. I uh, do all the insurance and uh, information and all of that jazz. Let's go, baby. We're doing the job right. of twelve. Look, I'm also you don't de need to hear this. designing right now. You don't need to hear this. And we're not going to be attempting to steal any limelight from you. Oh, we're no. Not, we, we're you not, we're not, you we're can not. steal as much as you want. This is a show. It's everyone is together and having a good time. The goal is that everyone who's in attendance has fun. I'm sure they will. It's going to be a fun, fun event. But you don't need to hear this beforehand. I just want to hear because the AI. Then you'll be, you'll know that I just repeated the AI word for word. Uh, do we know for sure that we're not singing the same songs? We don't. Okay. They don't. Perfect. I, I hope okay, that well, that happens. Two, two of the song, well, three of the songs, one hundred percent. We know that you're not doing it's How? Just, it, because one C Lane wrote. Yeah, one of them's one of them's completely original. Doing an original, yeah. huh? And and the other one you're just absolutely not doing, and another one you're just absolutely not doing. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it, so. It's, 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 there won't be any uh, crossover like that. It's so hilarious. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we did all the same songs uh, right down the line. That's what happened the year before. DJ Digital played four of the songs that we were going to be performing. Oh, did he? So oh. he's like, hey, send me the set list so that doesn't happen again. And that yeah. is why we love him and thank It's him. impossible to avoid that. I oh, think. well, if you've done that, we can send our set list to DJ Digital. Okay, of course you will. <laughs> and, then, and then he can cross-reference. You gotta go to break because I'm steaming. All right, quick break. When we come back, we'll get to more of your dispatches. Plus... What's happening in Fort Lauderdale as spring break rolls on? Right, you right. got to hear this. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real radio. It, it, it is. The monsters in the morning. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with Kit Kat being the universal <laughs> one. There's some people that don't like nuts for us, okay? I know you love nuts in your mouth when you eat stuff all the time. Okay, yeah. you're always asking, can I get more nuts I, in my I mouth? I need more nuts. The monsters in the morning. Real radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. Clausmanlaw.com. Travel with caution and expect delays. Authorities are clearing up an accident on Porter Road at Summer Lake Park Boulevard. And on I-4 this afternoon, you could expect your regular delays before US-27 and approaching Sand Lake Road. Around the perimeter of I-4, it's pretty mellow on the Greenway. No major problems on State Road 429. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center. I'm this report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to ForThePeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. It's the Nissan Thrill of the Tribe sales event at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Score 0% financing on popular models like Rogue with no payments till 2025 and close out pricing on remaining 2023s. Rush to Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Click OrlandoNissan.com. Home of the lifetime warranty. See dealer for details. A fifth third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? 
Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third better. That's what a Fifth Third better means. This is banking a Fifth Third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. Let the professionals at Fence Outlet save you time and money. We handle everything from the free estimate to the install. We do it all, and you get 0% financing. So come into Fence Outlet or visit fenceoutlet.com today. License number C-10252 and C-10803. Tax time means a much-needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi, and Deland. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now, so I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm RC Hill at RC Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. Slam Dunk Savings going on now at Deland Nissan. Drive away for less with huge savings on over 100 Nissan models in stock. Score big with pre-owned vehicles, too, with new trade-ins arriving daily. It's not just a Nissan. It's a Deland Nissan Nissan. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In Office Orlando. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at AbacusPays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at AbacusPays.com. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. You can live out your master chef dreams. When you find a professional on Angie to tackle your dream kitchen remodel. <laughs> Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Inside to outside, repairs to renovations. Get started on the Angie app or visit Angie.com today. You can do this when you Angie that. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like 24-7 comedy. Men don't settle there. We surrender. Women, we never express the emotions we're actually feeling, right? I'm fine means I'm about to stab you in the neck. Clips from today's top comedians and the greatest of all time. Donut hole. If you want a donut, have a donut. Why are you eating the hole? When you need a laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. You can actually change the station. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. A1Garage.com. A1 from day one. Occupying the space between high society and prison tattoos. The moment, friends. They said a medical team 
At Cromwell Hospital in London, which I'm sure is a posh place, strapped on a $3,500 Apple Vision Pro and did two spinal surgeries. They're actually using this stuff to do remote surgeries, which is crazy to think about, but inevitable. That's weird that they're already using it. That thing just came on the market uh-huh. Last month, and they're already using, like, did was there an app in Apple Vision Pro that assisted with the surgery? Well, uh, I, I have questions. It says, doctors weren't wearing the Vision Pro themselves, but a scrub nurse reportedly had the VR goggles on during prep for the surgeries and during the procedures themselves. The Vision Pro was used to view virtual scenes imposed on the operating room to select tools and monitor the surgery's progress, they said. They were working with a company called XX, and it's E-X-E-X is the name they spell it. And they built some software for Apple Vision Pro to be involved in this. And for the hospitals and stuff, they're like, this is a sweet deal. $3,500 ain't nothing for them. We've used some of the machinery they have in the medical world at uh, an event we broadcast from one time. And it's very expensive stuff. It's not cheap. So if they hear that Apple Vision Pros are $3,500, they don't care. They're not even put off by that. Add to that, c was telling me, I think uh, last week, uh, or maybe earlier this week even, that there, there's talk at least, there's discussion that they may be doing a cheaper version of the Apple virtual reality headset yeah. thing. And my guess would be it wouldn't carry the Pro part of the name but they're looking at a version of it that is reportedly possibly $2,000 cheaper than the Vision Pro, which I think if uh, the article said a lot about having to redesign the the two little OLED screens that are like these tiny, tiny, tiny 4K screens uh-huh. that all the stuff comes on, that's one of the most, like what, like piece by piece when you do the breakdown of how, how to build the Vision Pro, those screens are some of the biggest piece of that pie and then really like well some of the stuff they can get rid of is like that outward facing screen that puts the weird avatar in the the eyes you don't really need that it sounds like it's going to be just like for the iphone you've got your iphone they're super expensive you got the iphone pro but then they have that iphone se is se and they're like a fraction of the price they look a little different is that the one you have okay and they do like all the same stuff. Same and, processor. You yeah. Know, doesn't have four cameras. It just has a normal amount of cameras. Right. <laughs> four cameras seems preposterous it, to begin with. Mine doesn't have face ID. It still has the button, which I, I kind of enjoy the button. So I'm, mm. I'm going to miss that when it's gone. Yeah. They make cheaper stuff for the iPhone. Why not do it for this? And there's a lot of money to be made in that world. The first of their kind vision pro assisted surgeries are playing into a number of in- innovative from Apple, the company's pitching the Vision Pro as an enterprise device for professionals, from artists to accountants, who can use the help of a few virtual reality screens to assist them in their work. Uh, that's good news for Apple because I read an article yesterday that said uh, somebody was saying like the big difference between uh, the the Apple the Vision Pro and the iPhone is the iPhone had a purpose. It's a phone. Mm. The Vision Pro does not have like a legit actual purpose at the moment. Right now it's yeah. just a it's just a flashy new toy and people are still building apps for it left and right and they're just kind of I, I see these people in the, on Reddit they're like I built this tiny little clock app and it got featured in the App Store. How cool. And I'm like <laughs> that's cuz there's next to zero apps for right. Vision Pro coming out. I mean there's there's apps coming out, but it's like the pool is very small as far yeah. when you compare it to the thousands millions of apps for uh the the iphone or ipad because it costs money too you gotta have somebody who invests time money effort into building something for that platform and what's amazing to me is that it's still such a big draw you're saying we don't know what this is for it's kind of gimmicky basically and that's totally true but it's still working like it's still people are like i want that thing what are you gonna do with it i don't know Have fun. Put it on. I've got $3,500 burning a hole in my pocket. Why not? Spring break, baby. Spring break. They're partying. Partying for spring break. 
And uh, you can't take the party away from these young folks unless you're in Miami and you boot the folks north to Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> More like see... spring break up. I... Did you mm. see the uh, footage? I forget what beach it was on, but clearly in South Florida. Uh huh. And it was a line of SWAT on the beach. Oh, really? With horses, with the shields, kicking everybody out, break oh, style. They told everybody to just get the hell out of there? Yeah, all like kids were picking up their coolers and leaving, and it was just a line of them as if it was a protest that we saw back in 2019. Man. Yeah, the, a lot of cities are in the I've had enough of this kind of phase. Uh, and mostly it seems like this is just to me, and, and of course I'm saying this, through the lens of privilege of not having to deal with any of this crap. It's not happening on my doorstep. It's not happening on my beach. I'm not impacted by the the traffic from it. I, like, I don't have any, you know, this is very much NIMBY territory. But when I look at it, it seems like most of these kids, I'm going to say kids are mostly like college age kids and around that who go to celebrate spring break, wherever they go in the country are fine. Like they're they're fine. They're gonna have some drinks and they're gonna party and they're gonna go to the club and they're gonna try to hook up with some people, but they're gonna be fine. And the amount of people who are bad apples may have increased over the years, uh, and that's what is kind of prompting this response. This has been shootings and there's been uh, all sorts of violent incidents. There's been these stupid street takeovers where they start spinning their cars around in circles. But Fort Lauderdale's mayor is declaring Miami Beach a bust, saying, get out of there. Come hang out with us. We're a sanctuary city for you. And we'll take in the spring breakers, which is a bold move to be the mayor of uh, Fort Lauderdale and go, we'll take you on. Because if everybody comes up to Fort Lauderdale and then you have a couple public incidents where things go south, Ooh. Yeah, but it looks like you welcome this on. They saw how much Miami made in uh, arrests and fines and mm-hmm. parking, and they're like, we could use a boost in the local economy. Come on down. Why yeah, not? This, this is Casey Lining, uh, who is the spokesperson for the local police, okay. said our, our spring break crowds have been as expected so far this year, with this week being the busiest week we're anticipating. We have not had any major issues or disturbances. So they're like, I don't know what Miami's whining about. It's all good Dude, over here. Did you see the lines for the theme parks? No. Has it been bad? It. They say that it was like, those of you not familiar and listening from out of town, like there's um, the, the big parking garage and then a bit of a walkway until you get to the actual like security mm-hmm. area. And uh, they have the, what is it? The moving walkway. Right. Yeah. People, people mover, movers. The line was there the line was stopped oh, the people really? movers weren't moving because the line was not moving there were uh, at God. capacity all week long you know what's crazy you used to be able to ask people who worked at theme parks hey what's the dead time of the year I mean, when can we go and just like, get on the rides like i haven't been on the haggard ride still what? because that's how busy it's been i haven't been so on the good. velocicoaster the jurassic park roller coaster Nearby. very popular because the lines are so long, and I refuse to wait in a line for over an hour. It's just ridiculous. I'm not doing it. So I would. He ask, also refuses the hookup. Exactly. So don't even try to get him to skip the line. We will take I'm, it though. Anyway. I'm never going to live that one down. That was a bad decision on my part. But whenever I'm uh, in that position, I see like how busy the theme parks are, and I ask somebody who I know who works there, and I'll go, "Hey, when's the best time to come when it's not like this?" And they used to say, "Oh, in February you can go, or in March you can go," and now. There's no time. It's just always like that. It's just always busy out there. That's how uh, things are going. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to go on those rides anytime soon. Oh, buddy. All right. When we come back, the next episode with Sabrina. What's coming up on the next episode? What's coming up on the next episode? There's a new conspiracy theory surrounding A Thousand Miles by Vanessa Carlton and Dennis from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Mm, I'll explain. The force is not with the actor who played Anakin, but hopefully his meds are chewbacca Plus, Lenny Kravitz got his star on the Walk of Fame. Let's find out if his baby arm made an appearance at the ceremony. All that and so much more coming up on the next episode. And that is coming up next on the News Junkie. 
Coming up tonight on Real Radio. At 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Wednesday, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Wednesday. We are expecting a good amount of sunshine with only a few passing clouds for your Wednesday afternoon. Expecting high temperature of 82 degrees in Orlando will warm to the mid 80s all the way through the end of the week with a high of 87 for Friday. Even into Saturday, high temperatures approaching the upper 80s and eventually with a high of 90 degrees for Sunday, increasing rain and storm chances for Monday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients. Today, Morgan & Morgan has more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the injury law firm of Kaufman & Lind. Yes, another attorney commercial. When people ask me what they should look for when they're hiring an attorney, I make it pretty simple. One, has your attorney been practicing for more than 10 years? Two, do they pick up the phone when you call? And three, do they actually care about you? If this works for you, contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546, office or later. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Stop by the new O'Reilly Auto Parts in Orlando on Curry Ford Road next to Winn-Dixie. Now through March 26th for the grand opening sale. Right now, spend $20 on select Armor All Car Care products and get $5 back after rebate. Plus, get three times O rewards points on select Seafoam products, which means you can reach your next $5 reward even faster. Visit your new O'Reilly Auto Parts today. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by Abvi. Going stir-crazy with your pet? Invisible Fence Brand works in any weather so you can stay warm while your dog gets their energy out in the yard. Their local pet experts work with you to create a customized solution tailored to fit your pet. Learn more about how pets like yours gain independence at InvisibleFence.com. Vibrant, delicious, fresh, fun. That's the kind of high quality you can expect when you dine at Agave Azul Casina Mexicana. Family owned and operated since 1998. Agave Azul Cocina Mexicana brings a highly stylized restaurant with a high energy vibe and flavorful menu that brings traditional and modern elements to Central Florida. Experience authentic Mexican cuisine at a location near you. Check out our menu at agaveazulcocinamax.com. You can live out your Master Chef dream. When you find a professional on Angie to tackle your dream kitchen remodel. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Inside to outside, repairs to renovations. Get started on the Angie app or visit Angie.com today. You can do this when you Angie that. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com 
Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. If it's important to you, it's on and probably being mocked by. Entertainment and beyond. And don't forget, you still got time to get your tickets for Just OK 8. Where? You go to realradio.fm slash just OK. Waiting for you right on the website right now. And there are a handful of tickets if you want to swing by and grab them. You can pick one up on Moe's tab over at uh, Just Call Mo HQ. Uh, go do that. Go to uh, justcallmo.com. You can find the address if you swing by Moe's a business there downtown. You can pick up a pair of tickets and be on your way. Uh, I think there's just a handful of those that are left over, and that's how they wanted to get the rest of them out there to you. But uh, there you go. Go get them while you can. Let's get into it. Let's do the next episode. Because there's a lot on TV, and you can't possibly keep up with all of it, even though you should, because what else are you going to talk about? Vagina. Nothing. Weather's nice. It's time for the next episode with Sabrina. Hey. Smoke weed every day. day, 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 day. Hold up. The next episode brought to you by That Mortgage Guy Don. ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. And, of course, the Home Loans Radio Show. Did you know that Don offers HELOCs? Yep. Home equity lines of credit and second mortgages to cash out equity without touching your first mortgage. So don't miss the boat, my friends. Get a quote or compare the quote you already have. Peace of mind at your fingertips. ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. It was a mere 29 years ago, 1995, the ninth Soul Train Music Awards. How great was that, yeah. Sean? You tuned in, didn't you? I was not alive, I don't think. 95? Oh, 95? Yeah, I was yeah, alive. A thousand percent alive. He oh, my God. dead drunk. <laughs> when I think Soul Train, I think old. I think like the 60s. Yeah, this was the ninth one. But, I think the uh, 70s. You were still, yeah, I guess when you weren't born was the first one. But are they even still going? Not the point. This oh. year... The uh, ninth Soul Train Music Awards, Queen Latifah was named Entertainer of the Year. Congratulations. Brandy yeah. won Best New Artist. That makes me feel very old. And, of course, why I pulled this back to begin with, the best rap album went to Snoop, D-O-double-G, for Doggy Style. Oh, yeah. Sipping on Dan Andrews. Lay back. Let the beat drop. Rolling down the street. Also, 243 years ago, 1781, uh, William Herschel discovered Uranus. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Uranus. So there's that. Like a butt. Yeah. Well, yeah. BH. Was uh-huh. um, someone who's not a butt but can smack mine is this guy right here. Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz. Yeah. And he finally got himself a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And his daughter, Zoe... And also spanked me, and she was there to pay tribute. Damn. <laughs> Pretty much the entire Kravitz family is, uh, without a, is without a hall it. pass for Sabrina. That and whoever they dated. Channing Tatum, he's in there. Um, who was the who was the mom? What's the mom's? Uh, Kra- uh, Zoe Kravitz? No, Zoe's her, the daughter. Um, Come on. It was, um, why I'll am I blanking? It. She was in, uh, wasn't she a Cosby show or something? Kravitz's uh, mom. They Lisa divorced. Bonet. Lisa yeah. Bonet. Hey. Sabrina Lisa Bonaire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a wiener. Yeah. Uh, no, but I don't have one. I just I have a vagina. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you clarified that. No, but I don't want anyone to run around thinking I, I forgot what the other option was, huh? <laughs> uh, she said, uh, Zoe, when paying tribute to her dad, according to my dad, if it doesn't expose your nipples, it's not a shirt because um, mm-hmm. she everyone could see through their shirts. And uh, sure, it's used to embrace me when you picked me up from school as a kid, but I got to say at this point, I respect it. You really do pull it off. Just talking about his see-through shirt, 
Your relationship with a netted shirt is probably your longest one, and it works. You two make each other better, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's a beautiful thing. Aww. And then, of course, talked about his career, I'm sure. Uh, the guy who played Anakin Skywalker in, let Sean answer this. Star Wars. Star Wars is right. Hayden yeah. Christensen? No, this was um, the little. Oh, um, uh, oh, the, kid from, little uh, the kid from Jingle All the Way. Yes, Jake Lloyd. Yeah. Child actor who played young Anakin Skywalker. Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace. Well, Wait, they did a little version of Star Wars? No, he was no, the no. The younger no. version of Anakin. Episode was, one, oh. yeah. when he was a kid. I thought what did they you did. mean? Like a like a oh, little man, person? Like a, I, that's what I was thinking you were talking about. Dude. I was like, how did I, this... I'm taking away the point for you getting the theme song. Dude, how it, did I miss this? If there was a little person version of there Star Wars. To be. No. What? Who Who plays the Ewoks? <laughs> Babies? That'd be even tidier. People huh? with no legs? And then a little Darth Vader, it's just the head hovering over the ground, you know? Oh, this would be great. All I right. could see this working. Put it in the idea list for mm-hmm. next year and uh, when we're super rich. But anyways, he's 35 now, and he's been in a mental health facility for the past 10 months. Damn. And I think we talked about him in the last couple of years that he had a full-blown mental public breakdown. But mm-hmm. It's so funny seeing pictures of him now because he definitely does look, you can still see like the... The young kid in him from it's very from... much like uh, Haley Joe Haley Joe Osmond. Oh uh, yeah, right. Okay, yeah. Where it's like it, you still have the face, mm-hmm. but then it's like you stretched out the rest of it. Or Jonathan Lip Lip Nicky. Who? You guys don't know him? Oh uh, man, nah, what is he from? Uh, Jonathan Lip Nicky. I Both think he was the kid. I could see it. I, he was the kid who was like the oh, average oh, human head weighs eight, eight pounds. pounds. Yeah, a yeah, Jew yeah. man's head? No, a human. <laughs> No. <laughs> what is this from? Y'all Jerry, yeah. Jerry Maguire. Oh, okay. Did you know bumblebees can smell fear? Sea Lane, grab it. Anyways, uh, he had a psychotic break last year. His mother says he's doing well. So there you have yeah. it. Uh, Not the Jerry Maguire kid, the Star Wars kid. Also, he still mm-hmm. loves Star Wars. And though people have always assumed he hates it due to all the bullying he received for his performance. Did he? He Damn. still loves it. Um, who cares about bullying when you have super rich parents and one of those parents being Kanye West. Kanye West is right. And Northwest is following in her father's footsteps because their daughter, Kim Mm -hmm. and Kanye's daughter, just announced her debut album at her father's Vultures 2 listening party. Uh Now, uh, Northy, as they call them in HollywoodUnlocked.com, took the stage, made the big announcement in front of thousands of fans with no problem whatsoever, shared the title of the album will be Elementary School Dropout. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Get it, you guys, because of Kanye's album before he went crazy? Hey, I'm not joining you if you're anti-Northwest. I think Northwest is Funny as hell. Oh, she calls people out. But I just... Oh, my God. I just fear the precociousness. Yeah, like, I fear that, that she is just... It's going to be annoying. If you haven't if you haven't seen this yet, there's a scene in, in uh, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, I guess. I don't, I don't know. And uh, Northwest is at a table, and she's talking with Kim Kardashian. She's, like, being a, a kind of a bitch to her. And she's just raw dog in oh, an yeah. onion. She's just like she's Ew, eating really? an onion like an apple. That's yeah, gross. and nobody's mentioning what's happening. Nobody's chiming in on this. She's just eating an onion like it's an apple. Ten years so. old, she announced it to the crowd. They roared and cheers. The announcement of North's album title sparked excitement and cheers from the crowd. They recognized the clever nod to, of course, Kanye's musical legacy. Um, despite her young age, she's already making waves in the music industry, following her feature in. Ty Dolla Sign's track, Talking Slash Once Again from Vultures mm-hmm. 1, that has now landed her a spot on the Billboard charts. And I saw some story also that uh, Ariana Grande's grandmother is featured on her new song. She's yeah. like 98 or 89 really? and dyslexic, and she is the oldest person to be on the Billboard charts as well. So well, I, I heard doing uh, this past weekend, I listened to Kanye's new album, Vultures. And? And I, it was pretty good. I liked it. I, I, I like Kanye. I think Kanye is super talented. I know people like are hating what he's done in the last several years, but I always find him to be... A dick. Uh, I find him to be interesting, like, uh, like Nazi stuff aside, obviously. Um, 
But, and like some of his old stuff is so good. Dude, no, he's fine. He, he he's cool with the juice now. He watched uh, uh, Twenty One Jump Street. <laughs> yes. He's over it. Like Thank Blood you, on the Leaves. Blood on the Leaves is my is I think the best rap song ever. I think that is like truly a genius level song. Uh, but the Vultures album I think has done pretty well. It's weird now because I was uh, when Courtney and I were talking about this. And I said music is so different. Like when I was younger, or like Sabrina was younger, Celine was younger. We would ask our friends, do you have that CD or what albums uh-huh. do you have? Here's the albums I have. Can you burn now, it for me, please? Everybody just has everything. Because, like, when, when a song comes out, you subscribe to a service, and the song comes on that service. So it's not like there's music that I have that other people don't have. Everybody just has all the music at one time. It's, it's just a matter weird. of, like, sitting and listening to the whole thing that is yeah. a little rare. Right. Which I, I don't even get to do that often. I like uh, putting that on the to-do list for multiple albums that have come out and I haven't had the chance to do that or maybe i just wait until the new american psycho reboot comes out mm-hmm. oh they say an american even more american and even more psycho <laughs> bam, bam, bam. reboot is in the works <laughs> and the internet seems convinced that it should star of all people oh glenn howerton from it's always sunny in philadelphia um okay at first i was gonna laugh at that but i could see visually how that uh, Christian Plus, Bale did a great job. Let's his his character that. is kind of, and, and always sunny is kind of like that, isn't he? Yeah. Like he's, he's crazy person. Without a doubt, uh, Jacob Eldori, El- 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 you know the tall guy from Saltburn and Euphoria was also oh, mentioned. Okay, yeah, that one I could see. But this is my full circle now. Uh, conspiracy theory surrounding this song: A Thousand Miles Is Right. <laughs> I've run out of time. I'm so yeah. sorry. Vanessa Carlton. We really have to dive into this later on. But a lot of people are saying that it was inspired by Glenn Howerton, who plays mm-hmm. Dennis on Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, in uh, 2000, it sounds like uh, Vanessa Carlton needs her Alana story. What do you mean? Well, she didn't make this up. It's people on the internet. Oh. Well, Carlton sat down a couple years ago with Vice to recount her uh, rise to stardom, revealed the tune is an is a love song about the crush she had on a student at Juilliard during her time in New York City in the mid-1990s. I can't say the person's name because they're a famous actor. And then what happened? The internet went to town. And they did figure out that Dennis, uh, or Glenn, rather, uh, was there at the same time. As mm-hmm. she was in Juilliard. Now, there's other people that could have attended it as well. Uh, Oscar Isaac. Alan Tudyk. Um, Tudyk. Not to be confused with Alan Wondick. <laughs> Anthony Mackey, Wes Bentley, and Lee Pace. Now, all the people I just named, not familiar with it all. So everyone's like, it must be Glenn from Always Sunny. All she right. has not confirmed it, but a Reddit user, even a whole subreddit is dedicated to it. So... Uh, get out there and solve the mystery, why don't you? I've lost my boob tube, so I encourage you to go to Just OK. Eight, as a matter of fact, March 16th, the Plaza Live. Tic go tac to realradio.fm <laughs> slash Just OK to get your tickets. Boom. Oh, and say it with me, America. Smoke weed every day. Thank you, Sabrina. You sure about and that? that song is one of those, like, bro breakers, for lack of a, a better term. Like, if you're in a car with another guy and a song comes on the radio, sometimes you're Start like... Start making out. You're like, this song? This song's so terrible. And th- then all of a sudden, you're like... And I need you. And I'm missing. And then you go, actually, I really like this song, and I'm just going to let loose with it right now. Wasn't that didn't wasn't that a whole scene in the movie White Girls? Uh yeah, They did that. The white what Chicks. Did, that's what it was, white chicks. That, they've done that in another thing, too, I think, where they're like, I'll, I'll change it. You could change it. No, no, no. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a bit uh, or a sketch on, online. I know exactly which one. And then all about. of a sudden, they're just like singing along to the song. It's cute. Okay. We're going to hear from you. Your dispatch is coming up next, plus another movie that they're uh, ready to make that seems like a bit much to me. Why? Well, wait till you hear this reason. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Orlando City heads to the APL to face Atlanta United FC for a Sunday showdown. Coverage begins this Sunday at 6.30 p.m. on Real Radio 104.1. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. There's a couple accidents to watch out for causing a bit of commotion this afternoon. Sand Lake Road westbound at Turkey Lake Road. The left lane is blocked. 
Authorities are clearing up an accident on County Road 46A eastbound between the Greenway and Forest Drive. The right lane is blocked there. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant All Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Audible. Come to Audible and discover the best selection of audiobooks without exception. Bestsellers, new releases, plus podcasts and exclusive Audible originals. You'll find everything you love all in one place. Sign up for a free 30-day trial at audible.com. Get ready. Mills Air presents the News Junkies Just OK 8 at the Plaza Live March 16th. Spend your St. Patrick's Day weekend with the three best friends you never knew you had and some of their best friends like Baby Sloth, Young Tapes, The Shaboom, Savvy's Little Helpers, and a band from Sean and C. Lane that has... Yet to be named. So obviously they put a lot of thought into this. Enjoy a beatbox, the original party punch. Meet Baby Sloth and hang out in the Mo Zone, courtesy of JustCallMo.com. Just OK 8, Saturday, March 16th at the Plaza Live. Get your tickets now at RealRadio.fm slash Just OK. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we're conquering the unconquerable. Using artificial intelligence and data, our experts can create a personalized gene roadmap just for you. Customizing your cancer treatment, giving your body exactly what it needs to fight the disease. We're making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. Are allergies holding you back? Take control with Aspire Allergy and Sinus, your one-stop solution for a breath of fresh air. Our expert team offers comprehensive allergy testing and cutting-edge treatments so you can enjoy life without the hassles of sneezing and sniffles. Say goodbye to allergy and sinus struggles and hello to a healthier, happier you. Go to AspireAllergy.com today to ditch those temporary fixes and schedule your appointment. That's AspireAllergy.com. Torres steps up. Scars! Orlando City is on the road next week as the Lions travel to Monterey, taking on Tigres in the second leg of our round of 16 matchup in the CONCACAF Champions Cup on Tuesday, March 12th at 10.30 p.m. Tune in on Real Radio 104.1 or watch on FS1. And the Lions are back on the road again next weekend, heading north to face Atlanta United on March 17th at 7 p.m. Tune in on Real Radio 104.1 and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and backup power. Solar Source has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome, and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at Solar SolarSource.com slash monsters. Get ready for a stress-free summer. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's injury attorneys. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt, 
Orlando's injury attorney. The construction services industry is booming. Find out if it's a fit for you on Saturday, March 23rd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Register at kalosflorida.com slash jobs or text 352-243-7099. McDonald's McCafe Iced Coffee wakes you up like the perfect song. The 100% Arabica beans get your head nodding. Yeah, then the cream drops like a smooth bass line. Uh-huh. Add some ice to chill it down. And some French vanilla flavor. There you go. Or change it up and go with caramel. Either way, it's a stone cold classic. Start your day with a dollar forty-nine McCafe iced coffee available during breakfast hours only. Music to my ears. Ba da ba ba ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. My day just flows better when I make my first stop McDonald's. I can choose two faves and save big with a bundle of savory sausage McMuffin or flaky sausage biscuit with crispy hash browns for breakfast for two seventy-nine. Or I can make Mickey D's my last stop. Lunch, dinner, a late night snack perhaps. When I bundle a crispy McChicken or juicy McDouble with the Delicious small fries for only three sixty nine. dollars Now my day is made the tastiest way when I bundle and save at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Battle the product served. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to MillsAir.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. The only radio show strong enough to fight off a Category 5 hurricane. Another one of these Scream movies, which is insane to me, but Scream 7 is, like, actually going to be a thing. They've made it to 7, which... Is rare ground, right? That's uh, when you're up to seven. In Meanwhile, the, the Fast and the Furious guys are like, "See, see, it's not a big deal. See, <laughs> right. they're where are they at? Eight, nine, ten? I don't know. Right. Right. They're they're up there. You don't get that far in a lot of these movie series because eventually people just start dropping off. Uh, but they're bringing Nev Campbell back, and they said they're uh, rebooting Scream once more. Uh, the last one was Scream 6, obviously. That one I thought did well, didn't it? It did do pretty good, actually. It broke the series record for the biggest opening weekend at $44.5 million. So obviously that was really good for them. And they thought, here we go. We're going to we're gonna do this and just keep cranking let's out these milk movies. that utter. Yeah, let's see what we can get out of this thing. And so Scream 7 becomes the next thing. I think that Scream 6 coming out sent Courtney and I down the rabbit hole of rewatching all the old Scream movies. And they are so easy to stop paying attention to when yeah. you're watching a movie. They are so easy to tune out of. Just like pick up your phone and you're all yeah. of a sudden you don't know what's going on. Yeah, and you're like, wait, what happened again? They drag on for a long time, unlike The Gentleman, which uh, it's, does not It's drag weird on. that you say that because I was going to be like, actually, I kind of found myself doing that, not because the content wasn't good, uh, but because I was sending, uh, texting with you guys a bunch about Just Okay, so we were mm-hmm. trying to watch episode two of The Gentleman, and I found myself detached from it doing work stuff, not paying and attention. Ashley was reacting to more of it, which usually polar opposite uh, roles we're playing here. <laughs> I hate when that happens. And then like, if, if I'm not paying attention, I'm doing something on my phone, which we've taken to, and this, I think this is a good thing. We've taken to at about nine 30 or 10 o'clock. We take our cell phones, we bring them in the room and put them on the charger and just leave them there. 
And well, that's when Ashley goes to bed. Uh, <laughs> and and when we do that, it's like it is easier to focus on what you're watching and not just get lost over and over and over again in your phone. So that's been a good thing. But it's it's super easy to, to lose yourself. And then with the person you're with, if they start laughing like or reacting like your wife did, and then you do like a courtesy laugh to be like, yep, I'm right there with you. Then they'll hit you with, you don't even know what's going on, do uh-huh. you? You know, oh, now I'm in trouble. Now we got a problem on our hands here. Uh, this isn't any good. So we want to hear from you on the show today, as always. Uh, send us a dispatch. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and fire off your dispatch in our general direction from the website. Uh, we'll get to those in just a bit here. Um, I wanted to work in uh, another story, but we don't have time in the in the moment here. Um, actually... We'll, we'll just work this in a little bit now because this story yeah, is so tease. insane to me. I'll, get, I'll just get right to it. I was going to do this for jury duty, but they're still trying to figure out what to do with this Sarah Boone lady. And I got to tell you, I'm more and more convinced every day that Sarah Boone is one of the worst women to ever exist on planet Earth. Okay. So and you're not talking about the African American inventor that uh, has a patent for the ironing board. I hate that bitch. Just <laughs> can, no, no, not not her. Sarah Boone. Look her up. Uh, Sarah nah, with an H. Uh, this woman is on trial right now, and they're having a hard time with her. And we got to run this by Mo. This is definitely one for the Mo list. Her attorneys keep dropping off. Because she'll talk to them and she'll be like, you know what you do is you say, I did it, but it doesn't matter. I did it and who cares? And she'll have like the worst ideas in the world for how they should handle her case. And her attorneys will just be like, we have a difference of opinion how to handle this. So I'm stepping down from the case. And then they have to assign another attorney to the case. And then she does it over and over again. And it just keeps happening. So you're like, what are you supposed to do? Everybody is to be afforded a defense, right? Like it's we're constitutionally allowed to have a defense in court, but this woman is pissing off her attorneys so much that all of them just leave. And if you don't know about Sarah Boone or why I might call her the worst woman to ever live, I, I hesitate to play this. Okay. Um. First of all, stay by the dump button, Sabrina, because um, I don't dump ready. Uh. But th- this is real, because I, I just want you to bring you into the world of this case as it unfolds. Sarah Boone is on trial for killing her, I don't know if it was her husband or her boyfriend. I think it was husband. Uh, oh, no, jo- boyfriend, boyfriend. It, 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 George or Jorge Torres is his name. And they were playing hide and seek. Oh, this is the luggage person. Yes. Okay, got it. And he got into the suitcase to hide, and she zipped it up. And he died mm-hmm. in the suitcase. He was screaming to be he let was out. Screaming. Do you know there's video of this? What? No. Do you know that? Are you going to play that, John? I I just wanted to share with you who this person re- is. That's going to put me in a weird spot, but go ahead. I mean, if, if people don't want to hear it, I'm uh, now I was hesitant to begin with, and now uh, <laughs> more so. It's dark, but this is the woman who's on trial right now, and she did this in 2020. We were a little distracted by other things at the time. And now they just can't find an attorney who can hold down the case. Here's the video that she made. Save. <laughs> She's just filming the suitcase. Hello. That was him. Sarah. For everything you've done to me. Sarah. For everything you've done to me. Oh. This is a clue. <laughs> Sarah. F*** you. Sarah. She's like laughing and stuff. This is this a very clear case? Yeah. Right? Well, it would seem to be. How did he die? I mean, he died in that suitcase of, of just not being able to breathe. And if, air I'm not tight gonna, like that? Tight enough. I'm not going to keep going. But you hear him at some point. He's like, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Sarah, I can't breathe. And she's like. Nope, I'm doing this because of everything you did to me, and now she's charged with second-degree murder. And the big question is, what do you do with somebody who keeps pissing off her attorneys so much that they drop out of her case? How do you get that person defense so that they can 
get this case done and over with. Because if you just let her continue to do this, you know what happens? What happens is now that's a strategy. After you do something bad, you commit a crime, a murder or whatever, you commit a crime, then afterwards you just be a complete dick to your attorney and you can't actually be sentenced ever. I guess it, you're still in jail, right? You're still like waiting in prison if you end up doing that. But she is just a terrible human being. And watching that case uh, unfold is wild. I have questions. Um, if you, if they have this seemingly tumultuous relationship, if if he's done so much stuff to her mm -hmm. that it's so top of mind that when he crawls into a, a piece of luggage, she zips it up because of all the things that he's done to her. Mm -hmm. Why are they playing hide and seek? I, I mean, I, I have questions why uh, adults are playing hide and seek uh, to begin with, but why? Why, why, th why, 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 why are they putting pause on their turmoil to play a little game and then they're going back to figuring out their crap? Total guess here. So put no weight to this whatsoever. Just absolute total speculation. She sounded hammered in the video. Okay. Like she sounded like she was really drunk and who the hell knows what had led to all this, but he got in the, the brief or the suitcase, excuse me. And then she filmed the whole thing. So uh, obviously like Sabrina said, Oh, it seems like an open and shut kind of case, but how do you put the case on? If you can't have anybody who's going to step up and represent her, that's, that's a very, very it, difficult huh? one. I, I don't think he did. I think he how just jumped in there. Game work. She, he, she, she zipped it up. Mm -hmm. And then told investigators that she believed that he could uh, let himself out on his own accord. So she went to bed. She went to bed and woke up the next day and he is dead wow. inside the God, suitcase. So, but, but she could hear clearly, and you could get that from the video, that he was not doing very well. Yeah. To say the very least. Uh, let's, um, well, you know what? We'll take a quick break here, I think. And when we come back, we'll work in some dispatches. We've got to talk about something that they've done with this Cybertruck, the Tesla Cybertruck. They have done something to this that is really, really dumb. But we've learned something about the Tesla Cybertruck along the way. What is it? That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is the Jim Colbert Show. They make tea with a bag in England. Get out of here. Not oh, every no, he did it again. <laughs> not, no, everybody, not. not everybody has one that. of those balls that you fill it up with tea. Not everybody has that. He says balls. The Jim Colbert Show. Weekdays at 3 on Real Radio 104.1. Travel with caution and expect delays. Authorities are clearing up an accident on County Road 46A eastbound between the Greenway and Forest Drive. There's a bit of delays due to an accident on Sand Lake Road westbound at Turkey Lake Road due to an accident. The left lane is blocked. And traveling on I-4, you could expect your regular delays before US-27 and approaching State Road 429. See traffic troubles called the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the traffic center i'm james birmingham this report is sponsored by direct auto direct auto insurance is for uncompromisers with savings of up to 25 percent you can stop compromising and keep driving get a free quote at directauto.com savings based on discounts can vary how you buy can affect price national general group winston-salem well here we are we have uh, gone forward with our time spring forward as it were and now you're starting to see on the weather forecast, the temperatures creeping up. What does that mean? You're going to have to rely on your air conditioner to get you through this spring and this summer, and it may be a hot one. So make sure you're in a good spot with your HVAC unit. You could get preventative maintenance from Mills Air, and this can save you money and detect an upcoming breakdown. All you have to do is give them a call. It's an incredibly good deal, and then you can schedule it for whenever you want, maybe every six months, every three months, whatever you want to do. Mills Air will have one of their great techs come out to your house. Go outside and look at your AC, no matter what kind you have, up and down, inside and out. 
If you got one of those mini splits, they'll look at the unit that you have, wherever it is, and they'll tell you if you're in a good spot. And that's very, very good peace of mind. 407-277-1159 is the number for Mills Air. They're a carrier factory authorized dealer. They can get you really big rebates if you're going to be buying a brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier, and you can always turn to Mills Air. Find them online at millsair.com. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at abacuspays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at abacuspays.com. It's the Nissan Thrill of the Drive sales event at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Score 0% financing on popular models like Rogue with no payments till 2025. And close out pricing on remaining 2023s. Rush to Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Click orlandonissan.com. Home of the lifetime warranty. See dealer for details. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. In St. Augustine, Ponte Vedra, it might feel like there's not enough time to take everything in. Because once you're done exploring 42 miles of pristine coast, marveling at historical architecture, and enjoying world-class food, it'll be time to check out and head home. But that's okay. You can always stay just one more day. Visit floridashistoriccoast.com to learn more. It's about time. This year full of rail radio is sponsored by RC Hill Mitsubishi, Highway 1792 in DeLand. If you love sports and scandal, then join me, ESPN broadcaster Jay Harris, each week for Playing Dirty, Sports Scandals, the newest podcast from executive producer Dan Patrick. From current scandals like MMA champ Cain Velasquez armed car chase to historic shockers like the biggest Little League cheat, Playing Dirty, Sports Scandals, doesn't shy away from dark details and always packs a punch. Never miss the dirt, people. Listen to Playing Dirty, Sports Scandals on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcast. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Dispensing unsolicited advice on a wide range of pointless topics. I'm interested to see a little bit more of what prompted this. But Don Lemon, you know Don Lemon, Don Lemon Squeezy, McCoozy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. 
And Don Lemon was fired from CNN. And I don't know why. Like, they, they just like some uh, shifting of the deck chairs over there. And they got rid of some people. And I think Don Lennon was kind of a pain in the ass. And uh, management was trying to go in this nonpartisan direction for a while. They thought that would work, right? They were like, Fox goes off to the right, right? Okay, that's their territory. MSNBC goes off to the left. And they said, we'll be CNN. You're tried and trusty right down the middle. And in doing that, they made one cardinal mistake. They assumed that people actually want to hear balanced news. They don't. People don't want the truth. I know that kind of seems weird to hear. You're like, wait, can't what? handle the truth. It's not, what are you talking about? People don't want the truth. They want to hear their own worldviews regurgitated back to them. They want to hear how right they are. The problem with this cognitive dissonance is it makes people more and more radical over time. But uh, CNN tried, and then Don Lemon got uh, scooted out. And then Don Lemon ended up getting a deal with X, a.k.a. Twitter. And just as they were doing the Tucker Carlson show thing, they had this idea that everybody's just going to watch TV on Twitter, which still seems weird to me. Mm -hmm. And they made a deal for the Don Lemon show. So he's going to be over on, on X or Twitter, and he's about to launch this. But now we got some drama about this. And here's what it says. This is from the Don Lemon show. Elon Musk has canceled the partnership I had with X, which they announced as part of their public commitment to amplifying more divorce, diverse voices on their platform. No, they like voices that aren't married. He, uh, nice. he informed me of this decision hours after an interview I conducted with him on Friday. That interview will remain the premiere episode of the Don Lemon show on Monday, March 18th. So he says, I sat down. I did an interview with Elon Musk. Afterwards, Elon got so butthurt about what happened in the interview that he said, we no longer have a deal. Your deal with X is off. Wow. And if, if he did, that's so thin-skinned of Elon Musk. Like, you can't throw mud and get in the trenches like he is doing. You can't enter into that, that culture war and then – not expect to face anything in terms of criticism yourself. But what went down in this interview? Because he's saying specifically after the interview, he informed me of his decision that the, there was no longer a deal between the Don Lemon show and X. Elon publicly encouraged me to join X with the new show, saying I would have his, quote, full support, unquote. And that is, quote, digital town square is for all, unquote. He and his team pursued the deal in numerous conversations and made significant commitments about the support X would provide for the show. I made the decision to work with them in a unique partnership that I believed would ultimately assure that my work would be available to the most people in the largest possible venue. I took Elon and his management team's word that they, for the first time, were interested in working directly with new and diverse voices. So he says, they offered me this deal. They said we were going to do this. And then all of a sudden now they're not doing anything. There were no restrictions on the interview that he willingly agreed to, and my questions were respectful and wide-ranging, covering everything from SpaceX to the presidential election. We had a good conversation. Clearly, he felt differently. His commitment to a global town square where all questions can be asked and all ideas can be shared seems not to include questions of him from people like me. So he said he's going to release this. And obviously, for, for Don Lemon, this is fantastic. You've got some bubbling up drama doesn't matter if your show gets released and there's not a big push like this. This is good for you, man. What if this was not what we think it is, like, uh, at, at face value? So you said, like, uh, this is very thin-skinned of Elon Musk to uh, to, well, to, to I, go, uh, oh, I don't like be, the questions he asks. To, so to be clear, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, right. if that's what he no, did. No, no, the uh, assumption right now is that, you know, he asked some hard-hitting questions and Elon uh, didn't really appreciate them, and so... They, uh, they they canceled his deal, but mm -hmm. I mean, if that we're just to take like a lot, just because he didn't like it, and it hurt your feelings, right? But if we're to take uh, Don Lemon at his word, and he said we had a great conversation, I right. didn't, didn't think he felt differently. What if they did have just a great milk toast conversation, and Elon Musk was like, he didn't grill me enough, get rid of this, <laughs> this <is> loser. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 this guy uh, left all his talent at CNN. Not enough fireworks. We'll have to wait and see. That's what he wants you to do, anyways, and he's going to use this to push. His YouTube and the podcast and all of that. He says, while Elon goes back on his word, I will be doubling down on my commitment to free speech. And I cannot wait to get started. Uh, I haven't been much of a Don Lemon fan over the years. He's kind of weird to me. I remember his MH370 take where he was like, uh, could 
the plane have been sucked into a black hole. I thought that was kind of weird and dumb. And I like I just hasn't watched a ton of his content, I guess I should say. But I do like what he's saying. And I, I like what Elon was saying if he was saying that too. Uh, but if Elon's so sensitive that he can't actually live up to that, that's not cool. I think that's terrible. He says, I have a commitment to free speech and I cannot wait to get started. We'll see what happens with that interview. He was uh, uh, local in, in some of his early days, right, as a reporter? Was he? I think, I don't know. I think there was one of those guys that was big on cable news. I know news. that um, Rick, Rick uh, Flair. Not Ashley. Ashley. <laughs> CNN, Rick, uh, okay, uh, Rick Sanchez. Okay. Rick Sanchez was, I think. He was in South Florida, maybe. But maybe you're right. Maybe Don Lemon was, too. I'm not I, sure. I think there's an old um, interview, with, or, or there's an old news report of who was the guy that was, like, super controversial, the punk guy that, like, Pooped on stage. Oh, Gigi like, Allen. Yeah, uh, Gigi yeah. Allen. It was Gigi Allen, uh, and they were doing a news report about him playing in Orlando and how you know revolting everything was. And I'm pretty sure it was Don Lemon that did the report. Oh, mm-hmm. fun. Yeah. Full circle. Uh, uh, this guy now is is on to his new thing, and he's got some juice right now to promote that with. We'll see if you watch it. Let us know. Go over to the newsjunkie.com. Speaking of Elon Musk, the new Twitter or not Twitter. Tesla Cybertruck, which is a monstrosity and ugly. And from what I hear, not good in the rain. It just starts to rusting because stainless steel, the thing about it is it's not really all that stainless and it can rust. Yeah, say that to my fridge's face. And it's hard to get, you, you can get the rust off of stainless steel, but it's really hard. And I know this because I've just tried this. I've got a saltwater pool. And outside of the patio area, there's stainless steel hinges on the doors. And they got all rusted because of the salt water in the air from the pool. And I watched all these YouTube videos, and it's like, oh, they make it look easy. You just scrub the rust right off these things. And I went out there, and uh, nothing happened. <laughs> it's like yeah. no, no progress, no nothing. And to make things uh, work. You didn't CLR it? I thought you were supposed to CLR it. I put all the things on it and then went out there and brushed it. And to make things even worse, I got this like wire brush, you know, like it looks like a toothbrush, but it's got like all those wires on the end of it to brush out rust. And then I made the joke when I first got it that I was going to brush my teeth with it. And I think it <laughs> really messed up Courtney's head. <laughs> and she's like, oh, my I'm God. I'm never kissing you again, I guess. She's like, oh. I don't want that thing in the house. All I can think about is if you actually put it in your mouth and just started and just going at your teeth, uh, brushing your teeth with that thing. So it's caused me all sorts of problems. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Things aren't really working out well there. What? Anyhow, back to the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck has more problems than just rain. It also, according to some people who have been experimenting a bit, is not all the way bulletproof like <laughs> it wanted to be. Uh, they started shooting different rounds at it, and they found out that the further you go up, like 50 caliber bullets right through the door of Dang. the cyber truck. And it, I'm sure though, there goes my fun military shootout that I was hoping for after buying the truck. Uh-huh. End of joke. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. Is there um, a, like a disclaimer on the, the claim that it's bulletproof? Like, should, yeah, should you be able to, you can't just buy a bullet, you know, bulletproof cyber truck and you shoot a 50 cal right at it and go, no, 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 money back, please. Let me see. I'm going to bring up the cyber truck page, tesla.com. While you do truck. that, uh, it was not Don Lemon that I was thinking of. It was a very young Shepard Smith. Oh, that's oh, yeah. that was reported Get in off Orlando. it. Get off Get it. Off it. So they're talking about how much you can tell, how the range, 0 to 16.6 seconds. I was 16, hoping you were going to play the seconds. clips. I mean, sea lane didn't sound so insane just <laughs> now. Um, damn it. I don't, it. It doesn't say anything about bulletproof. It says no paint, no chips. Reduces damage, long-term corrosion. I think the bulletproof part is just kind of a bit that they do to show you how strong it is, but they don't actually brag about it in any of their promotional materials i at least don't see anything on the website just yet about that Hmm. but they shot 50 cal rounds at it and went right through the damn thing not working out fantastically uh okay let's see here let's work in a couple of dispatches real quick a flats fisherman says bs real stainless does not rust i've had several saltwater boats and all the hardware is 100 percent stainless 
Stainless steel definitely rusts, dude. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how else I can present the information from you. Sea Witch says stainless steel needs barkeeper's friend and elbow grease. I tried this other stuff. I don't remember what it's called. Oh, maybe I need to get barkeeper's friend. I have a an, like an outdoor kitchen that is has wow. got a bunch of stainless steel on it. Outdoor yeah. kitchen, three ice makers, He's a just baby, stacking them up, man. Living his best life. Mm-hmm. All right, let's work in this. Here's Ozman talking about stainless steel. All right, so when it comes to stainless steel, mm-hmm. there are two types of stainless steel that are 100% corrosion oh, resistant. It's going to be boring. They won't rust. You know, they won't do any of that. It's 316 stainless, and I'll write that I believe down. it's 589 it's stainless. Now, but there's, like, and those are the, like, you know, solid ones. And then there's, like, the stainless alloys. Well, that- whatever I got ain't that thing. And uh, also, same for Tesla truck. I think commonly advertised stuff is being stainless steel. The stuff that they, they say is stainless steel is just is not the way uh, you would think it is. It's not like, I put this out here and it stays perfect for it. It just doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Maybe there's, like, a type and it's super expensive. I haven't run into that yet, but I'll look up what you were talking about. Here's Bad Brad, and he's talking about the guy who is zipped up in the suitcase, unfortunately. I've watched, hey, news junkies. Hey. I've watched a special online about that girl that let her boyfriend die in the suitcase. You're right, she was hammered. I think she said she had drank two or three bottles of wine. Jesus. And the next morning when she woke up and realized he was still in there and he was dead, she tried to retrieve her phone, but the cops wouldn't let her, and it all started going downhill from there. Yeah, I mean, she could have come up with a whole different story if she wouldn't have recorded the video of this guy dying inside that suitcase. Because afterwards, if you try to say, like, I what didn't put him in there, What was the whole different know. story, though? Uh, the whole different story would have to include him dying in the suitcase, right? I mean, I mean, I some sort of suffocation, and you there was probably oh, right out evidence of a struggle, like him struggling to try and bust out of this suitcase. Uh huh. I mean, of, just what you showed us in the video is clear enough that it was a little premeditation, if you ask me. She knew that he was in there. He was making it clear that he was dying in there, and she laughed. She was just giggling this is along. What you got for to put saying, you you deserved it was her message. I just didn't realize you could die. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't I, there people that sneak into the country or you yeah. know, other places in a suitcase and uh, maybe survive? this one in particular? To its credit, not to its credit. <laughs> I was going to say the thing I'm probably not supposed to take from this is it's a quality suitcase. Yeah. It's, it's really well. <laughs> Well Jesus built, Christ. really sealed up. Because look, let's be real about this. Isn't that kind of like a f- stupid little joke people do? They zip themselves up in yeah. the suitcase and they go, "Ah, look, here. I'm fine now. I'm in the suitcase." But now, and there's no way to open it up from the inside. Maybe they no. need to start making a, an emergency latch or put like the, the zipper inside. Yeah, I have to tell you, this is kind of weird for me to digest as I think about this because in my head, if you would have said to me. Sean, what if C Lane zipped you up in a in a little suitcase like that? I would have said a big suitcase. Yeah, exactly. Uh, a <laughs> big suitcase. <laughs> I would have said I think I could get out, but clearly it's not as easy as you would think. This guy would have just gotten out if it was oh, yeah. the opportunity. I mean, you think about a zipper that breaks off, like that little you mm-hmm. know handle that you get on a backpack. Yeah, and like from the inside. You just grab like your nail and then move it along. Well, first thing you got to consider is if I you're feel like inside, I'm victim blaming right now. Poor guy well, died. If you're if you're inside that suitcase though, you're not like you don't have enough room to move oh, your right. arm. You're like like you're squished in. You just barely what got a in nightmare. there. Nightmare! What an awful way to die. So you're squished, and maybe that does it too. Like if you're if you're squished in there, you're kind of like in you a position can't where kill it either, right? Just hitting no, the palm again. You can't like shoot your arm out at it. It's, you're just screwed. And, and like yeah, the uh, probably the weakest part is the zipper, if it is even weak at all. But you don't know uh, where how much arm room you have to try to get a proper like you chop at don't. it or punch oh at it. Oh my god, that's awful. And you can't really bite through it. I'm going to have a nightmare. The more you try to get out, well, then listen to this very carefully. The more you try to get out of it, the more you're going to hyperventilate using up Uh all the air in the suitcase. Mm. I wonder what my heart rate's at right now. (laughs) Fully spiked, by the way. 
Eric says Sean should try the suitcase experiment. Why? Why, why would you put that on me, man? We'll do it for just okay if the set just starts to fail. We'll put you I hope you know I definitely can't fit in a suitcase. I, this guy must have been a smaller dude. There's no way. It, like, I'm not even talking about the small one. I'm talking about the larger size. Well, maybe I could you fit could. in one of those. The you larger have that ones. extension zipper, remember? Mm. Yeah, like, I, I was thinking about we the smaller one. We shouldn't do this. I, I mean, I think the result was this guy died. He died. So, he yeah. died. Yes. I'm not going to try it out on my Listen, side. If please. I'm fitting in a suitcase, somebody's paying extra for that at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll get for into... the size and the weight. A jury duty, plus uh, something happening at a Dollar General right now. That is not a good thing. And that is coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings Fantasy. Five more teams punch their tickets to the NCAA tournament on Tuesday and include Wagner, St. Mary's, and Charleston. UCF's Big 12 tournament run continues today against fifth seed BYU. The Knights advance with Tuesday's win over Oklahoma State. And the Magic are set to wrap up their homestand tonight. They'll do it when they take on Brooklyn. Orlando's lost two in a row after Sunday's setback to the Pacers. I'm Scott Davidson. Check out what DraftKings has to offer this season with Code Sports because life's more fun when you're in on the action. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void or prohibited? See DraftKings.com for details. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Hey everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over Life Imaging FLA. Let's spread the word this month and save some lives with proactive health care. We do that with Life Imaging FLA's free heart scan. I go personally try to get 50 friends and family over there. Started with my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and here's why. The testimonials coming out are simply amazing. People's lives are being saved, and it's a simple approach to proactive health care. Don't wait till there's a problem. Learn beforehand. You can do that with this scan. And then take that information to your primary care doctor and build that life plan. There are no dyes with this test. There are no injections. You don't have to take off your clothes. It only takes a few minutes. Take control and call Life Imaging FLA today. Get that free heart scan. Again, just a few minimum requirements, and it is a $699 value. Pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, and say the keyword free heart scan. That's it. Pound 250, say the keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. Make that call today. Make 2024 the year you take care of your long-term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from iHeartMedia. If you're the victim of a car crash,
crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies, and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jar Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation. And take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. McDonald's McCafe Ice Coffee wakes you up like the perfect song. The 100% Arabica beans get your head nodding. Yeah, then the cream drops like a smooth bass line. Uh-huh. Add some ice to chill it down. And some French vanilla flavor. There you go. Or change it up and go with caramel. Either way, it's a stone-cold classic. Start your day with a $1.49 McCafe iced coffee available during breakfast hours only. Music to my ears. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. My day just flows better when I make my first stop McDonald's. I can choose two faves and save big with a bundle of savory sausage McMuffin or flaky sausage biscuit with crispy hash browns for breakfast for $2.79. Or I can make Mickey D's my last stop. Lunch, dinner, a late-night snack perhaps. When I bundle a crispy McChicken or juicy McDouble with delicious... Delicious small fries for only three sixty nine. Now my day is made the tastiest way when I bundle and save at McDonald's. Ba da ba ba ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid with product served. The following is a promotion of Guarantee Media and not iHeart Media or this station. Attention, our friends from Guarantee Media are giving away a five day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included for only ninety nine dollars to the first fifty listeners to tell me the name of a country without the letter A in its name. You know it, a country that doesn't have the letter A on its name, and you'll go on a cruise to the Caribbean. Text your answer to 96551, and you'll get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included. You heard right. Be one of the first 50 to text the name of a country without the letter A in its name, and you'll go on a five-day cruise. Text your answer to 96551. That's 96551. Be one of the first 50 listeners to tell me a country without the letter A in its name and get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals included for only $99. Text your answer to 96551. Text a country without the letter a in its name to 96551 this is not a contest it is a paid advertising by guarantee media with the purpose of soliciting sales on vacation ownership and is not affiliated with iheart media some terms and conditions apply the free iheart radio app has over 100 original stations like 24 7 comedy if they were really donut holes the bag would be empty when you need to laugh just open the free iheart radio app and search comedy should we call someone I'm like no that's his face iheart radio free never sounded so good hey it's jesse kelly are you still on the fence about owning gold, it's time to pull the trigger with the Oxford Gold Group and buy gold and silver. Nobody can predict the future, but we can't put our head in the sand either. The Oxford Gold Group are the pros. They make owning gold and silver simple and easy to understand. Call Oxford Gold Group right now and you may qualify for up to $10,000 in free precious metals. Call 833-995-GOLD. That's 833-995-GOLD. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Because sometimes inviting amongst friends is exactly what you need to lower the volume on the voices in your head. Alexa, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. Real, no radio. Radio, The show that takes you from Skywall Summer to Jack Rocket Fall. for you in jury duty plus an update on all this Boeing nonsense where I said yesterday I was like I don't know that I'd fly on a Boeing plane right now there's a lot of really bad Boeing news out there and stuff that makes it look like they are dangerous and uh, as a person who flies almost exclusively on Southwest at least traditionally I've done that that's all of their planes they're like almost all Boeing's if not all of them and I think that that's got to be a headspace that more people are in. I think that has to be, well, I know it's affecting the stock price of Boeing. I'll get into the latest thing here in just a moment, but let's open it right up. Let's get into it. Let's do jury duty. Court is now in session. So put your phone down and pay attention. Before we call the bailiff over to whip your ass, you're now on jury duty with the news junkie. Jury duty brought to you by the one, the only Mo DeWitt of the DeWitt Law Firm. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. 866-CALL-MO or go to justcallmo.com. Don't forget they have a handful of tickets for Just Okay 8. If you swing by the DeWitt office, 
You can find that over at justcallmo.com. The address is right there. Pop into the office, say hello, and tell them what you're there for, and they'll hook you up with a pair until Do those are Do not slip and fall, gone. please. No. Be just careful. Just there for Just Okay tickets. And you'll be uh, downtown, and you'll be, uh, you know, right there, so you might as well. Um, you get merch and stuff from them. They, they have all whoa, kinds whoa, of whoa. things that they can uh, probably set you up with. But they're, just go there for the tickets. Get those now. I don't want to promise too much. Go to JustCallMo.com. All right, we want to talk about this Drake Bell thing because I find it to be interesting, and I have a couple of questions about it. Here's what we know. If you don't know who Drake Bell is, Drake Bell was part of a TV show on Nickelodeon called Drake and Josh. That's correct. It was a big, big hit uh, back in its time. Uh, I'm aware of it. it. It's a great show. Dylan was just the right age, so that was kind of one of the big shows for him. It was Drake and Josh and iCarly. Isn't and- it so weird to think that those kids... Because it was around the same time as, like, Zach and Cody. Yeah. And I remember my sisters loved that show because they're twins, too. And Uh so the idea that I'm seeing one of those twins, like, in a shirtless scene where he's banging somebody and, like, has kids and married, I'm like, what happened to you? They're all getting a little bit older. And Drake Bell is a part of this new documentary, I guess, called... Uh, quiet on set, the dark side of kids TV. Oh, we've been hearing sprinkles of this because yes. he's not the only Nickelodeon star that has been. Oh man. We've talked so a about little what? bit about Dan this Schneider? Dude. Dan that- Schneider. Okay. Dan Schneider was a guy who was part of a bunch of these shows. He's on the Nickelodeon. guy who makes movies longer. Uh, the Schneider cut. Yeah. No, uh, Zach Schneider is a different yeah. member now, of the Schneider family. There's one that likes family. kids feet apparently. Yeah. And there, there was all these scenes that people have dragged up over the years and it would be a show that Dan Schneider was involved in. And you could see like the innuendo or like they wanted to get the kids feet on the camera. And they, I don't know how much of this is true, but there were a lot of people alleging that Dan Schneider was a really creepy weird guy uh one that i remember seeing was there was uh one of these young stars on a nickelodeon show i believe and she's doing a scene where it kind of looked like the thing in her hand was a vibrator and then whatever it was like shot a bunch of icing all over her face oh my like like if you think about it in in that context it seems kind of weird so that's just an example of some of the stuff around this dan schneider guy But this is what they say in the story before we get into uh, why I think this is interesting. They say, for the first time, Drake Bell, and you might call him Drake, what is it, Uh, Campagno is his other name? Because he's famous in, um, in like, Central and South America. Really, really famous. This is new to me. I did not know that. And he sings in Spanish and everything. He knows Spanish. That was the guy who, like, disappeared, right? And everyone was, yeah, they he, like, wasn't answering his phone, and then it was a... Be on the lookout, oh, yeah, missing yeah, yeah. person. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, I just left my phone in the car. Yeah, Drake okay. Bell went missing, and everybody thought he was going to like kill himself. And the next thing you knew, he was like, well, what is everybody so worried about? And so he was going through a lot of different things. But yeah, he's Drake Campano or something in Mexico. He's super famous down there. They said for the first time, he's opening up about all this. Quiet on the set, the dark side of kids' TV, the upcoming ID documentary airing March 17th and 18th. And it dives into the alleged emotional abuse by Nick executive Dan Schneider and physical abuse by Brian Peck. Now, there's some teeth to this. In 20 or 2003, I should say, uh, Peck, 43 years old at the time, was arrested on 11 charges, including sodomy, lewd act on a child 14 or 15 by a person 10 years older, and oral copulation by anesthesia or a controlled substance. Whoa. Uh, But the minor was not named until now. And now they're saying Drake Bell is the person that uh, that was this this person. So the reason why I say this is kind of interesting and you have to consider this in a different way is because Drake Bell's name hasn't been the greatest in the last five years or so, maybe even longer than that. I'm not sure how much of this you've heard of, C. Lane, but. Like Drake Bell, he was in trouble for talking with some girl who was like a teenager. Uh huh. And I guess she went to one of his concerts, and it was allegations that he was like trying to have sex with this teenage girl. And uh, it was he was even in a courtroom where he was charged with all this. I don't. I think it was maybe a civil case. I'm not sure. Anyhow, 
So his name was basically Mud. And so the idea is, is Drake Bell only bringing this up now as a way to, like, repair his very damaged reputation? I remember this happened. A, they probably were, you know, filmed it a long time ago. What, the documentary? I don't think so. I mean, he's not the only person, though, like, that has been a part of it. I don't know. Very well could be that that case, too. So it's it's a docu-series, I guess, and he's one of the episodes. So there are other people who are featured on this, and it's like looking at the dark side of kids' television, which I think there's something to that. It seems like a very, it's a world that would be ripe for somebody to be predatory. But this guy has had this on his mind for a very long time. And it doesn't necessarily mean that he's not being serious about you know, his mission here. And it doesn't mean that he's not actually a victim of all this. It just means it seems a little bit weird. You should look at it in a little bit of a different light because he's got a reputation that is in need of repair, right? It would be like R. Kelly has all these accusations against him. And then R. Kelly goes, well, here's what happened to me one time. And you go, well, it doesn't mean that that's not true, mm-hmm. but it also means that there's potential for other motives that uh, could be uh, at play here. But he's going to be the center of all of this. And they talk about some of the things that went down. Uh, they said Sullivan, Kyle Sullivan, who appeared on the Amanda show, that's Amanda Bynes, and all that. Sullivan Amanda, re- Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. Re- recounted a barbecue at Peck's house, this guy where he had a shrine to the planet of the apes in the garage and one painting that didn't belong, a birthday clown with balloons. When the kids asked Peck about it, he proudly showed him it was a gift from serial killer John Wayne Gacy. And on the back was a message that said, Brian, I hope you enjoyed the painting. Best wishes, your friend John Wayne Gacy. Okay. Uh, that's weird, and but people collect stuff like that. And yeah. It's not, doesn't mean that he's a serial killer. Uh, additionally, he showed them letters and photos in the nightstand In his bedroom from Gacy, they became pen pals while he was in prison. Your instinct is to give somebody the benefit of the doubt if you've known them for that long, even in the face of a really bad sign. This man, who was trusted basically as a supervisor of kids, was not safe. So they're going to blow up the world of kids' entertainment television and highlight, I guess, what was happening behind the scenes, which... There's a lot of appetite for stuff like that, so it'll be interesting to see if this does really well. You know what's crazy? Right. There's there's some celebrities that have like written letters of support for Brian Peck. Really? Like James Marsden, he, who you know from that uh, jury oh, duty yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's some. Uh, he's not the only name. Uh, director. Do, 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 do. But like, it, it's weird to think that um, I, I would think twice about writing a support letter. After the whole thing with the that '70s show guy, oh yeah, remember the, yeah, there were people that wrote support letters and they were like, "How oh, is Ashton Kutcher? Yeah, Ashton Kutcher. They they stood up and they were like, here's how we view him. This is you know some notes about his character it's from not somebody a bad that's not him.' Guy, considering all the rape allegations and the cover for, ups for a long time. We don't need to revisit the argument over that. But uh, when you look at these what stories, that was being revisited. You just ne- never mind. Let me move on. Um, they're talking about these people and we, we went into all of this. We already hashed out that whole thing. Uh, but in the case of this guy, they better have more to work with than just that. He had the John Wayne Gacy stuff. And I'm sure they do, by the way, I'm just looking at the vanity or the variety uh, article about this. Now, uh, they said bell shortly began realizing how calculated Peck was. He recalled calling the entire situation mental manipulation. Since the acting coach knew so many producers in Hollywood, he had the ability to basically go, well, you're never going to work with this person, Bell said. So it was me believing that I would never be able to do this again. I didn't want to risk that. I was doing what I love to do, so I just kept it inside, he said. Now, there were, like, actual charges against this guy, so don't forget about that. He was arrested on 11 charges, and uh, the person who was the minor that was not named was Drake Bell. So that's what you're going to see. When this all comes out, Uh, when we come back, we'll get into this dollar general store and what's happening over there. That is going to have a big impact on things that is coming up next on the news junkie. In three days, the news junkies, just okay. Eight presented by Mills air and just call mode.com this Saturday at the Plaza live. Get your tickets now at real radio.fm slash just okay. From the Clausman law traffic center car crash call Clausman law. Clausmanlaw.com. 
Authorities are working on a couple accidents in the area. Travel with caution. Orange Blossom Trail northbound at Tap Vineland Road. The right lane is blocked. Orange Blossom Trail southbound at Jetport Drive. There's a bit of congestion there and delays on Sand Lake Road due to an accident westbound at Turkey Lake Road. Traveling on I-4, you could expect your regular delays before US-27 and approaching Sand Lake Road. See traffic troubles? Call the Valvoline and Stin Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center. I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Audible. Come to Audible and discover the best selection of audiobooks without exception. Bestsellers, new releases, plus podcasts and exclusive Audible originals. You'll find everything you love all in one place. Sign up for a free 30-day trial at audible.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter. Recruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Tax time means a much-needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi, and DeLand. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now, so I'm going to overpay for your old car, because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving, and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm RC Hill at RC Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations. Deland and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's RC RCHill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See RCHill.com for details. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. I recently stopped by the Renewal by Anderson showroom right off Lee Road in Winter Park, and apart from the really impressive group of people that work there is the quality of the products. I couldn't believe how much noise was reduced by Renewal by Anderson windows and doors, especially being on busy Lee Road. That's because their windows and doors are built solid and yet so easy to open and close and clean. Renewal by Anderson is really a customer experience company. They just happen to sell windows and doors. In fact, Renewal by Anderson has the most five-star reviews, and their products are backed by some of the strongest warranties you will find. Renewal by Anderson has a great offer to help you get started during the the month of March, buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC 1527613. Hey, homeowners. Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protected. Protection and savings from solar power and backup power. Solar Source has a new pay as you go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay as you go battery backup is awesome and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at solarsource.com slash monsters. Get ready for a stress free summer. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier Pack authorized dealer you can always turn to the experts at carrier equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to twelve hundred seventy five dollars in rebates visit millsair.com sneezing coughing a stuffy nose runny nose post nasal drip interrupted sleeping i just i was groggy at the end of the day allergies and sinus congestion were making jana miserable 
Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navaj immediately. This thing is amazing. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Direct auto insurance is for uncompromisers. With a super low down payment, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Down payments vary does not mean savings. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Discover the new Buick SUVs in stock now at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your your music, radio, and podcasts. Dispensing unsolicited advice on a wide range of pointless topics. Uh, just okay, eight, and it is going to be a hell of a time. So we don't want you to miss out on it. Brought to you by Mills Air, our friends over there, the title sponsors of Just Okay Eight, and you'll get to see not only a bunch of great shows, great performances on the stage, including C Lane and I debuting our duo. That's right. Maybe for the first and last time. Who we knows? Don't know, yeah. I bet no, there's no. going to be a second time. I have We've faith. Got Savvy's little helpers will be playing once more. You've got uh, the Shabooms. You've got all of these fantastic bands. You've got the Young Tapes. You've got DJ Digital. There's going to be all sorts of performances on this stage, not just music. There'll be some other things that are going to blow your mind at Just Okay. But oh, yeah. you have to get your tickets. you got to get them at realradio.fm slash just okay. Yes, and a little fun fact for you guys. Uh, it turns out that we've got some Bonnaroo tickets to give away as well. Mm-hmm. All this right. is brand new, yeah. It's uh, all you have to do is join us Saturday, March sixteenth. Just okay for your chance to win tickets and a camping pass. Uh, no purchase necessary. Just be present there, and you get a chance to win tickets on sale now. Bonnaroo dot com. But show up to the plaza, and you'll have all the information there. Plus, we have a baby sloth. I just want to be very yeah. clear. You hear Why not? It, you hear the radio ad, and it's like, what band is Baby Sloth? Never heard of them before. <laughs> you know, it's an actual baby sloth named Toothless. Cutest. Little, almost said it, the S word, and uh, you'll have an opportunity to take photos with. Yeah, you when know, I first heard that, I was, was going to say, like, hey, maybe we should reword that so it doesn't sound like there's a band called Baby Sloth playing. And I was like, I, like I, like it. It. I kind of love the idea. Like also, is there a band named Baby Sloth? <laughs> Who knows? We, we may see. We just put the sloth on the stage, microphone right by its mouth, and mm-hmm. in 15 minutes, we just let it do what it wants. <laughs> 
I'd watch that for a while. Same. 15 minutes. Yeah, I'd watch it. They're adorable little animals. And you can get a photo with this baby sloth if you're out there for Just Okay. So get those tickets, realradio.fm slash Just Okay. All right. When we think about this show, I generally think, like, I know what lanes I can play in. I know what lanes I'll be most successful in. I know my areas where my knowledge base is very strong. Anything news-related, obviously, I know what I'm talking about. I've been doing this for a very, very long time. I know a lot about politics and uh, world affairs and world history, and I know all these things, right? But then I know what I don't know. The world of sports is one of these areas where it's like, uh, maybe my takes shouldn't be so strong and spicy in the sports world because I'm going to get just absolutely pounded if I screw up some facts here. But this is one of the things that I think about, and I go, if my wheelhouse is A, this world is Z. Like, you couldn't get any further away from things that I know, understand, or feel comfortable with. And it's a story about the Iditarod, which they just finished up here. Iditarod. And the Iditarod, for those of you who don't know, I don't know if you ever heard of this before, it's this really big annual dog sled race that they do. Oh, okay. And they get out there. You know, you've seen it before. It's a very, those... very cold event. Oh, God. It just looks miserably cold in Alaska. They have these big sleds, these big, like, wooden sleds, I think. And they load them up with their equipment, and then they have a whole bunch of dogs tied to it. And then the dogs haul ass, and you've got to try to win this race. I don't know how much you get. Oh, I do know now. You get $55,000, which isn't even a fraction of what you should get for something like this. How much dog food can you get with 55000 it was only enough to feed these for a while because each team has quite a few of them. But just listen to the story from The Guardian, and you'll be like, man, this is not my wheelhouse. It says, Alaska's annual Iditarod dog sled race ended with one of the biggest names in the sport coming from behind after a moose attack to win the grueling days-long contest for an unprecedented sixth time. What? And... The idea that there was a mystery moose attack during this thing. Well, the, one of the reasons the moose attack was uh, such a big, important part of this story is because he shot the moose dead. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you're supposed to gut the animal and then I think you leave it in the snow because the, it's cold enough that it's not going to rot. Right, you leave it, and then they come and 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 pick it up, and I don't know if they process it or I, I don't know what they do with the dead moose, but there is a proper way to gut the moose, and he didn't properly gut it, and so the because is it is it because or would his excuse be because he was in the middle of the Iditarod race? I mean, I think that the the your natural thought would be he gutted it at a pace where he goes, I don't have time to, to sit around and, and cut through this uh, these these moose guts. I need to get back on track for the Iditarod. This guy's won the Iditarod like a bunch of times. Yeah. And I think maybe the most times, I'm not sure. But uh, they, 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 they the, the officials came through and they saw the dead moose and they're like, you did not do your due diligence here. And they gave him like a couple hours or maybe 24 hours. Did, does it say there? Um, not what I've to seen so far. It, properly? it says Dallas CV finished the 51st. I did a ride in nine days, two hours, 16 minutes and eight seconds. As he neared the finish line, he jumped off his sled and ran with his dogs, pumping his fists. After he reached the finish line, he hugged each dog on his team and they licked him as he sat on the winner's podium. That's what they said about this. No, come on. Say what they really said about it. Uh, no, I, I I said it all. What you did they say? Because oh, really? there's an and they gave him sloppy dog kisses as oh. they sat on the winners podium. <laughs> I was like, Sean doesn't want to say sloppy dog kisses. <laughs> that's weird. He said, um, uh, it, it's the sixth time he's yeah. won it, so that's uh, unprecedented. But it doesn't say how long the. I'm looking for how long they made him because you know it's it's a multiple day thing. So and three dogs died too. So oh, his? What? Yeah, no, no, no. Over the course of the event, three dogs died during the contest. Does that yeah, happen often? I don't know. And it, they just it, drag it, the dead dog? They said, um, the dog's lives are worth more than this. PETA was upset. And oh, they said, uh, mushers Isaac Tiford and Hunter Keefe, that's what they call them, mushers, voluntarily quit the course after their dogs died. And then the third dog on rookie Calvin Daughtery's team collapsed on the trail about 10 miles before reaching a checkpoint. 
and the dog ended up dying. Okay. It could have been anything, though. So for this guy, CV, the guy that won, because he spent only 10 minutes gutting this moose and then went on because he's trying to win this this race, mm-hmm. they gave him a two-hour time penalty. So he made it to one of the checkpoints, and they're like, you got to wait here for two hours because you didn't gut the moose right. <laughs> How weird. Like, Can you even imagine having moose guts being a problem in your life? When, when I read the headline... <laughs> When I read the headline that the five-time winner of the Iditarod had to spend two hours twiddling his thumbs because he didn't properly gut a moose, I was like, Alaska is different. It's just yeah, different. It is. That's just insane to consider. Hey, you guys watch that new True Detective because it's all in Alaska. And is it, it is really? like, I did not know this was the life. And to think that people do this every single day is fascinating to me and also mm. terrifying and i don't know um how you can continue there was a listener of tough. ours a long uh time ago who like her family is indigenous of alaska and mm-hmm. she like handed me a wallet and was like this is made out of seal for you whoa yeah i don't know and i would have been like baby seal yeah i don't know what it was but i use it so thank you yeah, it's, you got to be a different breed of person. You have to be tough. You have to be very, very I'd tough so to live in Alaska. And Alaska is a big place. have to be place. a different breed of dog, too. Like, if you put Alaska over the United States, it takes up a big chunk of the United States. Alaska is huge. It's a massive, massive, massive state. But almost every part of it is the same. It's just cold. <laughs> There's not like, oh, it's a beautiful part of Alaska where you can summer there and you know, go. the beaches are brilliant. It's all just Brutal weather, just very, very, very difficult to to deal with. And that's where they decided to do the Iditarod many, 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 many years ago. That's just another world. I don't understand it. Good for those people, I guess. Uh, I don't know. How fast can they go? See, like, can you Google real quick? How fast can they? 20. That's pretty fast. That seems quick with the dogs pulling you. Dog sled speed. I know that these dogs are are not treated like pets. 20 miles an hour? Mm Mm-hmm. That's pretty know. fast. The now, dog- mind you, is this like the ones that you can rent and have like a fun time for half a mile? Or is this mm. or the race dogs for I did a rod faster? They're, they have a bunch of dogs. I know that. And the, the thing that they're pulling is pretty big. The sled is a pretty decent sized thing. It says the average speed is close to eight miles an hour. Yeah, because they can't go 20 for all that time. It's just too long. It's amazing. It's just a crazy world. All right. uh, Join us on the show. Send us a dispatch. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch right now. How many Carls would it take to put on a slot? Oh, man. An adorable amount. Probably 100. 100? Yeah. (laughs) Like 100 little tiny Carls, like all running at the same time. They would not get along, though. They start fighting each other. We're just doing circles. I think you did. Lexi would walk up to the sled, give it a couple sniffs, and go. Where's bed? <laughs> Where is bed? It's mighty cold out here. I'm not going to be doing uh, this. Cold she likes. She'll do some zoomies before bed. But uh, <laughs> yeah, cold, the colder it is, the more she right around the backyard. Yeah. Eric says, Sean, you are so far from the truth. The Aleutian Islands have some wonderful beaches. Not sandy, but they can get really nice. There are no, this is factually correct. There are no areas of Alaska where it's not brutal weather. It's just that Weird. bad. There are areas of Alaska where I believe they still pay you to live there. They have to pay a decent amount of money to keep people occupying those spaces because it's not easy to do. Uh, Eric continues, and in recent years, the Iditarod has ha- had to be rerouted because of lack of snow. So it's not all an incredible barren frozen wasteland. Most of it is very barren. Most of it is very uh, borderline uninhabitable. And that's why there's not that many people in many of these areas of Alaska, because otherwise people would go there and they would stay there. So that's why I say you have to be a different breed. You have to be tough to live out there. It's not easy. Meanwhile, in the world of dollar stores, you would think with inflation being up and some of these other problems we're facing that they would be just killing it, but they're not. And Dollar General and some of these other dollar stores are going to be shutting down many, many locations uh, let me see. Uh, Dollar Tree is closing over a thousand stores. No, they said that's a lot. A thousand stores for Dollar Tree. How does a sale work at Dollar Tree? Like a end of like business. a going out of business sale. Yeah. Well, you know, one of the things is they're not just all dollar stuff anymore. They changed it at some point and they made it like this. This is five. This is ten. You know, it's like a mm. dollar and up store. But they're closing yeah. a thousand of those things. They say Dollar General is. Things are generally a dollar, but not always. Or yeah. family dollar, 
The things could cost a family of dollars. And in my head, I always think there's everything's under a dollar in here. All right, when we come back, we hear from you. So join us on the show, and now is your time to do so. Go to thenewsjunkie.com, hit record on your first dispatch right now. Uh, Eric says, Sean, you don't even like to leave your house. What would you know about Alaska? This meme of me not leaving my house is stupid, folks. It doesn't make sense. I go all over the place. I've probably been more active socially in the last six months than I have in a very, very long time. So that doesn't work for you anymore. Alaska, I haven't been to. Although I would go to Alaska, I would enjoy going to Alaska. I think I would probably cruise. I was just going to say, would you, you wouldn't want to fly to Alaska. No. Definitely not on a Boeing. It's one of the only places where when I think about it, I think it's better to, to cruise. Because mm-hmm. as you could see more of Alaska rather than flying into like Fairbanks or something or Anchorage uh, and going between a couple of places out there that have bigger populations where you can get stuff. Uh, I would I would cruise, I think. I think that's maybe the best way to see it. If you've done that, let us know. Go to the newsjunkie.com and send us a dispatch right now. It's hard to uh, argue that the place is not barren when at least for a, a period in time, uh, and maybe still, uh, kids were more excited to get their pilot's license than their driver's license growing <laughs> up in Alaska because the, where, where are you going to drive to? Yeah, and they got – here's the size of Alaska for those of you on YouTube and Twitch. Like, it's a big, 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 big state. Uh, and it goes the, the like the islands that come off the south the western portion of Alaska go out quite a ways. The Aleutian Islands do, and there's it, portions of it that there's not a lot going on there, uh, but it takes up quite a bit of area. And there's also a grocery store that's pretty famous in Alaska for people will will go to the grocery store and they'll show how expensive everything is. Sometimes they'll try to pass it off as a political thing like they'll be like look at biden's america look at how expensive everything is and they're tricking you because they use this alaskan grocery store where every everything has to be flown in and so like bar soap is 10 bucks a box of cereal is 15 bucks everything's way more expensive because of how isolated that area actually is could you make a quick buck then if you just sneak in some bars of soap maybe you could but maybe it's also like well, this is what they do in the Bahamas. Remember the folks in, in Hopetown? Oh, right. Whenever somebody visits, they're like, hey, can you bring us a flat screen TV? And in our world, we're like, we trip over flat screen TVs. No big deal. We can get these for absolutely nothing out there. So it's uh, it's a whole thing. Uh, all right. Let's, well, you know what? I'll hold these dispatches. No, we, we can play them. We have enough time. Here's Grass Chopper with a snip snap with a dispatch right here for us. Come on, Sean. I know you've heard about the Iditarod. It's a story about they needed to bring penicillin or some kind of medicine across the tundra to a little girl who was sick and Mm -hmm. was dying. They made a cartoon out of it. It was, I think it was based on the dog, actually. But anyways, that's the race. Whatever it is, I don't know what you're talking about. I do know about the Iditarod. Of course, I've heard of the Iditarod and seen, like, documentary things about it. I know when I look at it that that ain't for me. I'm not built the way those folks are built. To be on there, what what was the person who wanted? Is it nine days or something that I said? I forgot. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can bring I that back up. I would be bored after nine minutes. It was nine days, nine days. two hours, 16 minutes, eight seconds. Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, come on. Any race that's that long is unbelievable and very difficult to win, much less compete in. Um, funny book boys talk about Drake Bell. Drake Bell was originally on The Amanda Show first in 99. And then moved on to his own show, right. Drake and Josh. I was actually talking about this with my husband, and I thought it was interesting how Drake Bell was You're actually gay? in trouble for talking to an underage girl. And then all of a sudden, once this documentary comes out... Why did you do that? Now that's all I can think about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, stars he all of a sudden starts talking about how he was abused or assaulted Mm -hmm. i just think it's really convenient that all of a sudden he starts remembering this to almost maybe explain himself and his his actions his past actions yeah um maybe not it's possible that this stuff did happen to him well that's what i'm saying that's why it's so complicated because here's what's possible it is possible and maybe even probable that Drake Bell is telling the truth. I, actually, I would say that's that borderline is factual because th- we know that that's the person who was uh, unnamed in the charges against this Nickelodeon guy, right? So we, we know there's something to the charges that he's, he's saying. 
right? but it's also probable that it's in his interest to get this story out where he's a victim because his reputation was very badly damaged. Okay. Because Drake Bell had been with some girl that he was texting with. There was other messages. I don't know what platform they messaged on, but they messaged back and forth and he was flirting with her and there was, you know, sexual talk and she was a child at the time. And he had to fight that for a while. And it's probably led to his gigs all drying up and all kinds of other problems for him. So, yes, it's probable that this would actually improve his image because people uh, people would feel some empathy for him and what he's uh, saying happened to him. But is that the only reason he's doing it? That's the, the unknown, right? That's the thing we'll never know. We can't get inside his head and say, even if Drake Bell didn't have reputational problems, he still would have done this. We'll never be able to know that. We'll never know that fact. So you just have to kind of use your head and go, the timing would suggest that this is very beneficial to him to rehab his name a little bit. But also, it's a good thing to highlight whatever these weirdos were doing in the world of kids TV. Because this isn't the first story like this we've heard. There's lots of stories about predatory people in children's television. And uh, that deserves some time, I think. Okay, when we come back, Sea Lane's mortal enemy breaks into the news. Oh, no. And they got a whole bunch of money to show around. What's happening? That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Traveling on I-4 this afternoon, you could expect your regular pockets of congestion before US-27 and approaching Sand Lake Road. There's a couple accidents to watch out for. Orange Blossom Trail northbound at Taft-Vinland Road. The right lane is blocked. There's congestion due to an accident on Orange Avenue southbound at Jetport Drive. Travel with caution there. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, more clients hired Morgan & Morgan than ever before. We now have more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Protecting America. Fighting for you. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Let me tell you about my friend, That Mortgage Guy, Don. And, of course, his beautiful website, ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. It is a one-stop commercial and residential brokerage. That MortgageGuyDon.com is your source for commercial and business loans, too, my friends. You can also learn about all the commercial loans at ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. If you need a loan to buy a franchise, go to ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. Uh, maybe you just want to build or expand your business. Go to ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. Now, do you have a high interest rate for SBA loans, maybe 9 10 11%? If you qualify and have paid on time for the past two years, Don can refinance your SBA loan at 8.25% fixed rate. So get the party started and the process started with an expert and friend that you could trust by going to thatmortgageguydon.com. This year full of Real Radio is sponsored by Wasi's Meat Market, the best place to buy a big green egg. Get ready, because Scott's is taking over Daylight Saving Time. It's such a big event that we're calling it Day Lawn Saving Time. And now it's got real savings. In fact, it's the biggest deals of the year. Audacious? Absolutely. So don't wait. Stock up early and you'll be able to save up to $20 on Scott's Triple Action and Easy Seed products today at the Home Depot, Lowe's, or Ace Hardware. Offers available March 7th through 20th at select U.S. stores while supplies last. Selection varies by location. See store for exact offers. Enjoying the news, Junkie? You've probably heard a ton of injury attorney commercials. But if you are injured and need a lawyer, who's the right lawyer for you? That's why we offer our 30-day risk-free trial. If you are not 100% satisfied with the way we treat you and your case within the first 30 days, you can take your file back and you owe us nothing. No fees, no costs, and no questions asked. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Go to JustCallMo.com. Mo DeWitt, 
Orlando attorney. Hey there, it's Russ Rollins. I'm talking to all the homeowners out there who are tired of staring at their cold swimming pools. It's time to stop wasting money on a pool that you can't use. With Solar Source, you can enjoy your pool year round like I do. Top five things Solar Source customers do after solar heating their pools? Well, spend time with your family. Go nighttime swimming. You got uh, you got movie nights in the pool. You got water workouts and much more. Friends of mine, friends of Russ Rollins can save big money when scheduling a free consultation today at solarsource.com slash monsters. Don't Wait any longer. Start enjoying your pool again with Solar Source. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1 800 747 free. In Office Orlando. Have you ever considered a career opportunity in the skilled trades? Kalo Services will be hosting a job fair from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday, March 23rd in Claremont. You'll be able to learn more about our open positions, our team, and the benefits we offer. No prior experience in the trades is required. To register, please visit kalosflorida.com slash jobs or text or call 352-243-7099. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by Abvi. Are you a business owner, CEO, or responsible for marketing? If you are, iHeart Media can help you reach your goals and find new customers. We reach more consumers in your target area than anyone else. And we can give you access to those potential customers more cost effectively across radio, digital, podcasting, and social. We'd love to show you how iHeartMedia can work for you. Get started today at iHeartAdvertising.com. That's iHeartAdvertising.com. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. They're a carrier factory authorized dealer, and there are rebates that you get up to $1,275 on a brand new carrier unit. If you're going to go with the experts, you got to go with carrier, and you got to go with MillsAir.com. That's where I got my system. I absolutely love it. And you got to make sure you do maintenance on your AC system. They do service on all brands of AC, and it can detect and prevent an upcoming breakdown for you and save you a lot of money. You can count on MillsAir.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like 24-7 comedy. Men don't settle then. We surrender. Women, we never express the emotions we're actually feeling, right? I'm fine means I'm about to stab you in the neck. Clips from today's top comedians and the greatest of all time. Donut hole. If you want a donut, have a donut. Why are you eating the hole? When you need a laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. You can actually change the station. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Real Radio. 104.1. Because the newspapers don't come with cliff notes or potentially offensive accent. Let's get everything tied up and ready to go. We were talking about the Iditarod thing. Crazy uh, add-on to this that C. Lane was looking up. We were talking about how the guy who won was penalized because he killed a moose or a, somehow the moose died. Right? He shot it. He shot the moose. Yeah. Was the moose like going after his dogs or something? Yes. Yeah. And I, I think maybe the dog scared the moose at first, but uh, whatever, for whatever reason, like uh, all these guys that do this race are armed because they have to run into wild animals yeah. sometimes. Who, who knows what they're going to encounter out there for the Iditarod. And so the guy ends up killing this dangerous moose and then, as Celia had outlined, there's like a way that you're supposed to take care of the moose after you kill it, and that involves getting the moose guts out and mm. doing X, Y, and Z. And this guy being in the middle of a race was like, eh, I don't know about this. And he got in trouble. He got penalized for not properly handling the moose guts. And then he crossed the finish line. It was his uh, sixth win, I think they said. Yes. Of the Iditarod after nine days and some change. Celia says, there's a bunch of people who haven't even finished yet. Like Actually, the race, mo most of the people participating haven't finished yet. Like he's home having some hot cocoa, enjoying life at his house, 
and all the rest of the people are still racing this thing. That's wild to me. Has anybody else crossed the finish line at all, or ten people, just including 10 people? Uh, including the the winner? And how many are there total that are still racing? Uh, let's see, twenty one. That's wild to me. That's such a tough, tough thing. And then uh, seven and, dropped out. Yeah, I, how do you not drop out? Like word gets back to you. Like somebody already won the Iditarod. We're a week later. We're still racing in this thing right now. That is weird. Um, to the Boeing update that I mentioned earlier, things just get worse and worse for Boeing, man. And Boeing is saying, the, this is their statement. To date, we still don't know who performed the work to open, reinstall, and close the door plug on the accident aircraft. That's the Alaska Airlines one. You still don't know. There's plenty they of said, footage and logs and uh, time cards and still don't know. About that. This is from the NTSB, the National Transportation Safety Board. I think mm-hmm. I missed one of those. A verbal request was made by our investigators for security camera footage to help obtain this information. However, they were informed that the footage was overwritten and the absence of those records will complicate the investigation moving forward. So basically, Boeing says the surveillance footage of them repairing this door plug was overwritten. They don't have any footage of it because they recorded over it. And you go, okay, (laughs) I don't know, man. We got people who are whistleblowers for Boeing and they end up dead. We've got uh, like footage that ends up overwritten where it would have showed that you were working on this door plug that ended up causing an issue on the Alaska Airlines flight. There's just some things that are really concerning to me and I think a lot of other people here going on at Boeing at the moment. Um, All right. The other thing that is Sea Lane's worst enemy. and they are Which one? You you teased this, and I was like, which one of my worst enemies? Who's he even talking about? Who's this enemy? The enemy is phone scammers. The phone scammers. uh, He has fun with them. Sea Lane likes to go at the phone scammers. Oh, yeah. He likes to uh, try to drag them on for as long as he can and take up their time because that keeps them from scamming other people. And he likes to just screw with them, generally speaking. Uh, but in this case, they're posting a bit of a W on the board here, C Lane. It says Americans lost roughly 1.3 billion with a B mm. in 2023 to scammers pretending to be from the government or tech support. Man. Come on, people. That's why they keep doing it. $1.3 billion. I bet I want it. Now give me the stats of who got fooled. Like that would there, be a there good has question. To be what's, a like, what's the age breakdown? Age breakdown, or you know, or you know, mm. what part of the country are they from? Do they ever talk to anyone on the phone or have access to the internet? It's gotten worse. In 2019, the FBI received 27,506 complaints of government and tech support impersonation scams, resulting in 178 million dollars in losses. By 2023, it went from 178 million to 1.3 billion with twice as many reports coming in of this happening. And that's just the people that report it to the FBI, right? Those are the people who put this forward. You seen the beekeeper yet, c Uh-uh. Oh, this is right down your alley, man. The beekeeper is a story about this woman who these scammers from, I don't know if they're from India. They might have, Some of them might have been operating in the United States so they didn't piss off Indian viewers. Uh, but these scammers were uh, on the phone with this woman and they emptied her bank accounts and they emptied like some charity account she was involved in. They stole all her money from her. And I'm not going to say what happens next, but it's like part of the plot. And the the guy wants to get revenge. The beekeeper guy wants to get revenge. Oh, this is a movie. Yeah. Okay. It's J- Jason oh, Statham movie. movie. It's I not th- the bee movie. It's a beekeeper I thought, movie. I thought that you were telling me that there was a beekeeper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who got scammed and I no. and asking if I saw the news story about it. Technically, yes, but it was in the movies. It right. was in the I would be scared movie. to scam a beekeeper though. Imagine. They get you. Yeah. What? They could you just throw been. bees at you. And wait till you see this movie. I'm not gonna watch the movie. He's he not screwing happened. around. Uh he tries to get his revenge. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna give away any of the secrets of the beekeeper movie, but it's it's good. It's definitely good. And I'm not a big fan of like the Jason Statham kind of action flicks but get in i like get it, it's out a, it's a it's I'm an driving. enemy 
in a movie that you can join in on the hate. You're like, who likes these scammer people? Everybody hates them. So we're fine with seeing them be the bad guys in the movies these days. The bad guy moves around. Like, for a while, the bad guy was always a Muslim, you know? Was yeah. like, oh, always a Muslim bad guy. Or uh, somebody with, like, a Slavic accent. Yeah. The Russians take it. And it's like, all right, people collectively kind of don't like Russians right now in the zeitgeist, so we can, like, we can make the bad guy a Russian guy. One of my favorite facts that I, like, now just actively watch movies with that in my head is that you will never see a bad guy with an iPhone. No, that's, yeah, I think they oh, made wait. a deal about that, right? It's so interesting to me. Uh-huh. And they thought that they would just slowly but surely work that into our brain, like, if this guy has an iPhone. What if androids are like, we don't want guy. that either? Yeah, well, please, Come what on. are you doing? Every bad guy happens to have an android, and it makes you think about things. Okay, when we come back, we're going to do the final dispatches, stories that didn't make the cut. And today, we're to wrap everything up for a Wednesday. By the way, Fritz out today, not feeling so hot, mm-hmm. I guess. And okay, uh, he needs to it, rest up. Got a big show Saturday, thank you. Right, absolutely. That's, uh, that's the pressing issue here. And hopefully, he's feeling a little bit better. But Fritz on the street will obviously be back uh, next week. Should be back on the show if all goes well. Or we just get like a like a one of those things that goes around the drummer. Those plastic mm-hmm. boxes. Yes. <laughs> just put them in the plastic Fritz box. And he's just sneezing the whole time while he's playing the drums. Oh, uh, I want to see his new stuff. Didn't he get like some new oh, drums yeah. for his setup? He got new um, drum heads and Girl, they were bad ass. Really? Okay. Oh, yeah. I- I'm excited. Fritz, uh, Fritz is a good guy with some style, so it doesn't surprise me. I'm excited to see what he's got all set up for just okay and this then weekend. Dirt, our guitarist, um, after getting cold sparks up where the sun don't shine, mm-hmm. has purchased a kilt. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if that's a bright move. I don't know. Well, it, it, it's going to give it more access when the sparks go up there, so that no, seems No, he bad. knows to not. We're going to put a... Guard gate around the sparks. Is uh, nowhere he's nowhere near gonna his, do it. his butt. No, he's still going to do it. He loses himself when he's rocking out in the moment like <laughs> That's that. Very true. Very he's, true. He just you just start getting a blind spot there. All right, when we come back, we'll do all of those things and more. That's coming up next on the news, Junkie. Real radio is real music weekends. <laughs> Weekend on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Hey, Central Florida, I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Wednesday. And for the rest of the day, we're expecting a beautiful day. Temperatures warming into the upper 70s and low 80s, the high of 82 degrees for Orlando. An isolated sprinkle or two can't be rolled out, but overall, many of us staying mostly dry under a partly to mostly sunny sky. Temperatures warming to the mid 80s for Thursday, Friday, and into Saturday with a high of 90 degrees expected for Sunday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This This report is sponsored by Direct Auto. Direct Auto Insurance is for uncompromisers. With a super low down payment, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Down payments vary does not mean savings. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. For more information about contests on this station, go to realradio.fm slash rules. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Stop by the new O'Reilly Auto Parts in Orlando on Curry Ford Road next to Winn-Dixie. Now through March 26th for the grand opening sale. You'll get two times over rewards points on select purchases, including five quarts of Mobile One full synthetic motor oil for $35.95 and receive a $10 O'Reilly gift card after rebate. Plus, buy one, get one free Coca-Cola products at your new O'Reilly Auto Parts. Orlando's top-rated comedy club and restaurant is celebrating becoming the Funny Bone. Formerly the Improv Comedy Club, the Funny Bone guarantees the same great talent and awesome live comedy experience with a new name at Point Orlando. This week, the Funny Bone welcomes B. Simone on March 15th and 16th. Now, who's single in here? Oh, we so depressed. We try to act like... 
like. Followed by Jay Farrell on March 22nd through the 23rd. Check out our star-studded calendar and showtimes online at orlando.funnybone.com. Home to the best comedic talent on tour nationally. Come get funny at the Funny Bone. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we're conquering the unconquerable. Using artificial intelligence and data, our experts can create a personalized gene roadmap just for you, customizing your cancer treatment, giving your body exactly what it needs to fight the disease. We're making more possible at Mayo Clinic. Because every day, we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic. You know where to go. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months. And the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It, it was from the first use. I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navaj helps me clear the way, literally clear the way, for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navaj difference yourself. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navaj, N-A-V-A-G-E. The following is a promotion of Guarantee Media and not iHeart Media or this station. Attention, our friends from Guarantee Media are giving away a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included for only $99 to the first 50 listeners to tell me the name of a country without the letter A in its name. You know it, a country that doesn't have the letter A on its name and you'll go on a cruise to the Caribbean. Text your answer to 96551 and you'll get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals and entertainment included. You heard right be one of the first 50 to text the name of a country without the letter A in its name and you'll go on a five-day cruise. Text your answer to 96551. That's 96551. Be one of the first 50 listeners to tell me a country without the letter A in its name and get a five-day Caribbean cruise with all meals included for only $99. Text your answer to 96551. Text a country without the letter A in its name to 96551. This is not a contest. It is a paid advertising by Guarantee Media with the purpose of soliciting sales on vacation ownership and is not affiliated with iHeartMedia. Some terms and conditions apply. This is trial attorney Jeff Coppin from the injury law firm of Coppin and Lind. Whenever you hear the words, this call is being recorded, understand this is not for your benefit. In my experience representing thousands of clients over 25 years, I have seen insurance companies use these recordings to deny responsibility and avoid paying medical expenses. Let your attorney do your talking for you. Contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546, Office Orlando. In this week's Marketer's Report, we learn about the value of local influencers in uncertain times from Allison Griffin, head of marketing at State Farm. The economy is tough for everyone, and taking a step back and understanding the pain that your customers are currently going through because of a tough environment is really important. We have 19,000 agents across the country, and they understand what's going on in those very unique communities. 
iHeart has such a broad broadcast reach that is local, connected, and for us to be able to touch customers with a local feel but at a national scale is so efficient and important for us. As the number one audio company, iHeart Media gives marketers access to all, from national to local. Every audience, live conversations, trusted influencers, and the insights and data you need to grow. Not just a media company, iHeart Media is your access company. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. HOA and condo board members, it pays to have fiber. Let Bluestream Fiber show you how fiber internet provides revenue for communities while saving up to 50% off retail rates. Visit BluestreamFiber.com slash radio to find out more. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Filling you in on the shocking details. Just try not to pass out. We're going to wrap everything up for a Wednesday. And a little practice going on later on today. Uh, no, not not land. much later. I mean, it's it's happening. It's uh, happening right. quick. I gotta get my guitar out. Yeah, you know, tuned. Make up. sure you're tuned. Get my voice ready. Like, uh huh, uh huh. How do I how do I run through the test? Is, is that your warm up? A Gregorian chant? <laughs> <laughs> that is what it sounded like. Yes, <laughs> I guess it is. I found out today what it was, and uh, here we are. So uh, your tickets are waiting for you at realradio.fm slash just okay. We got all our food trucks lined in, or lined up, I should say, I guess, and ready to go for the big event on Saturday. And if you are downtown, you can swing by Mo's office, Mo DeWitt. And if you go to the Just Call Mo offices, they have a handful of tickets. I think they might be almost all gone. But for people who are in that area, he's doing you a solid there. And you might as well swing by and, and pick those up at Mo's offices. Go to justcallmo.com to get those uh, or get the directions now. Did you see the uh, email that you and I both got from uh, uh, a listener down in West Palm named Roger? Mm, oh, yeah. He was yeah. asking about like a, uh, a... He was like, Sean, you should get one of these for your studio. And I clicked on the link and I was like, oh... It's the thing that you used to have back at 55 West, the the arcade cabinet that plays all the different games that you had a hell of a time trying to get rid of. Yeah, it was. Didn't uh, that go in the dumpster eventually? It no, might someone picked it have. up. It was very hard to get somebody to take it for free. Like, <laughs> I, here's what happened. So it was a MAME arcade. That means it's like an arcade game, but it's not a specific one. You could play lots of different games on it. My dad it was one of those. It, it worked fine. It was like cool. I had like fun graphics on it or whatever. Um, maybe they didn't think it was fun enough, the graphics, but. That's a weight 5,000 pounds. It was very heavy, right? You needed a dolly for sure to get this thing moving around. It's cumbersome. And I put it online and I said, uh, free, come pick it up and you can have it. I wasn't even trying to make money off it or anything. And I would have people call me and somebody would go, I'll take it from you for 50 bucks. And I was like, no, I said, it's free. And they go, no, no, I'm going to need you to pay me 50 bucks. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why? How does that make sense? And then I couldn't get anybody to take the arcade game that I paid hundreds and hundreds of dollars for. What if you had just left it in the apartment? Uh, you know, I got my deposit back from that apartment. Wow, are you serious? <laughs> How? I did. My How? gosh. I did, I, did, I did work to that apartment. I put Correct. lights in where there weren't With lights. zero approval. I took the sound foam that was in the studio that was at that apartment and I spray adhesived it right to the wall. And I don't know how I, you got that deposit back. I, I like I I hired people to try to get the walls back clean and we like ripped off as much as we could and like repainted, repainted. And somehow we got the mail from the the high rise. And Courtney goes, son of a bitch, they gave us the whole security department. So imagine the new, new tenants are just like, look at this beautiful room. And then they can't undo their hand yeah. that is now stuck to the wall because of all the adhesive. Like, what is the texture of this one wall where it's, like, it's not it's modern. It's Crazy part about these arcade systems, this website says, here's a list of the games that are supported 
But mm-hmm. you paid a couple hundred dollars and they came with games, right? Yeah. That yeah. whole process is highly illegal. I mean, Definitely. just just uh, a, a whole laundry list of copyright infringement. Okay, but there, yeah, it's yeah. like it's the hot new thing now. They're selling what looks to be Game Boys. It pops up on my TikTok mm-hmm. all the time. I've seen them. They yeah. have hundreds of games. And they're cool. They look cool. Yeah, they sell those at the mall, too. I want one for my birthday. Thank you. You're definitely not supposed to have them, though. We're definitely not supposed to sell them, I guess I should say. All right. Uh, we did all the dispatches. We did all Yay, the stories. dispatches. Let's stories. get on out of here. Let's do Today I Learned. The following information may make you feel smarter, but will not actually increase your IQ. So don't get cocky. Now it's time for what we call Today I Learned. It is Today Learn for a Wednesday, March 13th, 2024. Today I Learn sponsored by J. David Tax Law. Peace of mind is only a click or a phone call away. Uh, uh, also me, uh, because they're not sponsoring this anymore. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> forgot about that. I was just reading. I was like in robo mode. Today Do I Learn this call. show right here. Listen to my story about uh, the Beverly Hillbillies. That is right. The Beverly Hillbillies. Nancy Culp, who played Miss Hathaway on the Beverly Hillbillies, she decided to run for Congress in 1984. She wanted to represent the people of Pennsylvania. Well, Buddy Ebsen, who played Jed Clampett, recorded an attack ad against her for being too liberal. And he did it like in his Clampett voice. He's like, don't vote for her. It led to a fight between the two that only ended years later when Culp was dying from cancer. And they, they finally... sorry. Connect it back up. You know, she was dying from cancer. Yeah, and I guess he, like, I guess he apologized and uh, said, sorry that I did that. Uh, they went at each other pretty hard, though. Today, learned Marcus nice. Person, nice. the uh, billionaire creator of Minecraft, cancer very rich people. Even? No, they uh, went at each other. Oh. Uh, the billionaire creator of Minecraft never finished high school, kids, just so you know. Oh, there you go. He's very, very wealthy. They call him Notch Online, a Swedish video game programmer and designer, best known for creating the sandbox video game Minecraft, which has since become the best-selling video game in history and for founding the video game development company Mojang Studios back in 2009. Uh, Today, learned Paul Rudd and Jeffrey Dean Morgan, they co-own a candy shop called Samuel's Sweet Shop in Rhinebeck, New York, since 2014. They rescued the store from closure after their friend uh, passed away who was running the place. And finally, Taylor in this song. Uh, uh, oh, my God. Look out weekend. Let the music play the music is play. correct. Oh. Play. So here's how this works, I guess. There was a huge disco backlash, you know, disco demolition and all that crap. Everybody hated disco all of a sudden. And producers were told, get in the studio. Come up with something new. What can replace disco? Dance pop was born. All these skating rink songs. And the first ever song to be a hit and get rid of disco was Let the Music Play by Shannon. This one. Hey, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. We're back tomorrow. Same time, same place. Uh, Miss any of the show? Get the podcast over at thenewsjunkie.com. We'll see you tomorrow.